Oh, I am not on the game. There we go. Oh, that is... That is loud. That is very loud for me. Jesus. I hope... You know what? Let me actually lower the game volume a bit. Lower it to... About there. Not too much, but... You know. Um... Alright, there we go. Okay. Let me know if the audio is fine for the game, because I... Usually do not... Uh, stream PC games. Not because I don't like PC, because I fucking hate the keyboard. Now... This is interesting, right? October has come and passed, and you guys have voted on the polls that uh, I should live stream this game. I've never played Corpse Party whatsoever, and it's a series that I wanted to get into. I hope this is the original Corpse Party. I'm playing the Steam version. Because um, apparently there's like a, a, a fucking remake or something, or reimagining of the... Uh, of the first Quartz Party. And then there's like an anime or some shit. I don't know. Never played Quartz Party. I heard this game was like... Pretty... What's the word I'm looking for? Not basic, not bare bones, but pretty simple. Um... But even with that, it... It's like, still creepy and scary? So... I guess I'll have fun with that. I also had a heads up that this would have multiple endings. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I mean, I believe it, right? Apparently, it's a visual novel-like game with some, I don't know, maybe some like RPG elements or some bullshit. I'm not sure. Kind of like Ib, I guess. Man, remember Ib? That was like, that was like years ago. That was like, Ib was like the undertale of its time where people just wouldn't shut up about it. Anyways, we're here about, we're here playing Corpse Party, and right off the bat, what's really fun about this is that they are not telling me how to control this shit, so I'm gonna assume that I use these buttons. I tried, uh, seeing if this game had controller support, it doesn't, so, which is weird, because apparently this was on the PSP, so I would assume it would have controller support. Steam now supports, um, uh, uh, what you call it, DualShock, DualShock 4. So, I guess we'll start with Victims. Oh, configuration, what's that all about? Oh, my resolution and shit, okay. Back. I guess I'll start with chapter one. New game, of course, I don't have anything here. Let me get my mouse out the way. Alright, viewing chapter one, opening. Why the fuck is the, why is the menu so scary? Okay. Alright. I'm playing this in the dark, by the way. I can't read that. I, I'm not I'm not good at Scrabble. She do anything for me. Can you like you got like Parkinson's or something? I don't think Wait what uh, what? Hey listen, if you want me to read your fucked up handwriting, don't move around, jackass. But I still love her with all my heart. Calm down. We ain't doing none of those cheap scares in here. Come on, I get it's an old game, but let's not. Oh, it has Japanese voice acting. That's cool. Oh, it has auto advance. What the hell? Running down the stairs, the kindly teacher lost her footing. She tumbled and she fell. And she died. That was a pretty bitch way to go. This took place in a school called Heavenly Host Elementary. Don't seem so heavenly no more. And it, was a, and it wasn't long, um, why am I having a hard time reading? And it wasn't long after that, the whole place got shut down. It was then bulldozed to the ground and forgotten, but the elementary school once stood right here, on the site of our own, keep, god, here we go with these Japanese names, god damn it. Uh, Kisaragi? Yeah, Kisaragi, okay, Kisaragi Academy. Some say that teacher still has no idea she's dead, even to this very day. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of fucked up. And on rainy evenings, like this, 
after classes after classes have come to an end. Some claim she roams these darkened hallways, still believing them to be her own. I mean, she was a teacher. She doesn't own shit to begin with. In fact, it's almost time for her to make her rounds just after 7 o'clock. That's when she appears, always accompanied by sudden blackouts that leave- Wait, what? Yeah, blackouts that leave the entire building dark as night. Knock, knock. You'll hear from the blackness. Followed by the sound of the classroom door slowly sliding open. As her pale white face cuts through the stillness, her soft voice always echoes the same question. Is anyone still here? And then... Oh, Satoshi, you bitch! What you crying for? Oh my god, this is a really old-ass game. Oh my god, this is a really old-ass game! <laughs> Jesus, I like it! Retro! Nice. Well, not really retro. Retro is even older than this, but still. It's just Thunder. Uh, Mochita. Mochita, that's my name. Eh. I gotta say, that was a pretty impressive reaction. W look at these fucking- Look at these Sakura War-ass characters. Not Sakura War, what am I saying? Card captors. Sakura card captor. Alright, well fuck you, Yoshiki. Come on, stop laughing. You guys are fucked up. You guys are really fucked up for laughing at me. It was just bad timing, that's all. You always have the best reactions. I just love telling stories to you, Mochita. It's so rewarding. <laughs> I'm not sure if I wanna if I wanna read the lines that are voiced, because you know they're kinda doing my job in a different language though. Who ever heard of a boy who can hit a note like that when he screams? Um, Michael Jackson. Yeah, save me. <laughs> yeah, jackass, you're gonna be- You look- you look exactly like the first motherfucker to die. If we don't hurry and get back to cleaning this place up, it'll be 7 o'clock till we do. And you wouldn't want to be stuck here during the appropriate time now, would you? Well, fuck you, Naomi. Why Why do we even have a candle in the middle of the room? Does the school not have lights? What's the point of the candle? Too late. My, it's already 7 already. And the rain doesn't show any signs of stopping. Oh, very perceptive of you, guy with glasses. Didn't you bring an umbrella, Sig? What? Sig? Sig. We call him Sig? Is that, that's how I'm supposed to say that? Siege? Sig? I don't know. If not, you're welcome to use mine. Oh, she's hitting on you. That's that Japanese way. Stand out of the fucking umbrella with me. Really? Thank you. That would be lovely. Huh? Nani? A blackout? Huh. No, it can't be. Guys, stop fucking around. It's not funny. Isn't it a little late for anybody else to be here? Guys, I think we should really, like, get the fuck out of here. Are they gone? <laughs> Satoshi, aren't you gonna go see? Oh yeah, haha, <laughs> thanks Yoshiki. What? Me? Why? Well, I can't do it. I'm paralyzed here. Can't move my legs one inch. Oh, so you're the bitch. Okay, I see. I'm scared too, you know. Oh, I'm in control. Okay, shit. <laughs> Alright, well. Fuck you guys, I'm sneaking out the other way. Ha! Damn it. Alright. What the hell? Ah! Um, Stranger Danger. Thanks a lot, Teach. You really, you really helped out. Why does she look like Tronbon? <laughs> Straight out of Mega Man. Anyways. I just wanted to join in on all the fun you guys seem to be having. How's the cleanup coming along? Miss Yui. 
<sighs> Teacher's an asshole. <laughs> Did I scare you? You were telling the old goat story, right? Your timing was way too good, Miss Yui. Miss Shishido, have you heard the story too? If that's the old tale about Heavenly Host Elementary School, then of course I have. Because after all, I am the ghost. It wasn't too long ago that I was a student here myself. Oh yeah, I hadn't thought about that. When it comes to the Seven Wonders of Kisaragi High, I'm pretty well versed. They've been around for a long time now. Though, I can't take credit for the blackout, that was just good fortune. Anyways, Mochita. Yes? I ran into a rather of, uh, adorable individual in the hall who's come to see you. Huh? A girl? For, for me? Masaka. Hello, everybody. Yuka? What are you doing here? Oh. Oh. You're... You're just gonna... You're just here to die. You're just here to get me killed, actually. It's so... It's so confusing for me. Like, whether I should read the line or not if they're doing the voice work. Surprisingly more voice work than I would expect it to be. Seems Mochita forgot his umbrella this morning, so little Yuka here has come all the way to deliver it. Oh yeah? I guess I did. Sorry about that, Yuka. Thanks. Is she from the junior high? Nice to meet you. My brother's always like this. Always really kind, I mean. Aww. I had no idea you had such a cute little sister. How can your sister possibly be this adorable? <laughs> uh. Sorry, Yuka. It seems like we're still gonna be a little... Uh, we're still gonna be a little while. Really? Well, that's okay. I'll help too. No, Yuka, you should really leave. You are the youngest one here, and if you die, my heart will just stop. You will? Okay, thanks. Alright, looks like we got two extra pairs of hands now. So let's show this mess who's boss. Yeah, alright, let's do it. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Guess you're roping me into this too, huh? Of course, teacher. Okay, everybody, nice work. I hope you all enjoyed your vacation, but try to actually do something with it, okay? Don't just sleep in. Today's Red Beef Cafe... Red Beef. Today's Red Bean Cafe was the talk of the culture festival. So do you... So... Blah, 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 I can't speak. So do give yourselves a hand. You guys worked... You guys worked hard, and it really paid off. And you even resisted the urge to bail on cleaning. This old TA couldn't be more proud of you. So... Have some coffee milk. I brought enough for everybody. It's not milk. It's not coffee. It's coffee milk. You got these from the lunchroom, didn't you? They're kind of warm. My stomach's my stomach's so gnarly gnarly. Garly? Gurgly? Gurgly. Gurgly. That's the word. Gnarly is spelt with a G. That really freaks me out sometimes. My stomach's so gurgly. I don't think milk would sit well with me right now. Especially warm milk. That would be fucking nasty. Uh, these are these are from your fights with that vending machine, I'll bet. You bet uh you must have pulled that change lever a good ten times before you finally gave up. Crap. You saw that? Huh. Miss Yui, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, bus driver. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks, Teach. Uh Suzumoto, I really liked your speech. Best of luck to you at your new school. I know you'll do just fine. Thanks. Won't be the same around here without you, Suzumi. I know you, Suzumoto. You'll make... Uh, wait, what? Oh, I know you, Suzumoto. You'll make new friends in no time flat. I'm sure of it. And it's not like you're moving that far away. Come winter break, we'll all make sure to come visit. Absolutely. Wait, you mean I can go too? No, you're not welcome. Thank you, all of you. Hey brother, is that girl transferring to a new school or something? Yeah, today's culture festival was her last day. Aw, that's so sad. 
Yeah, it is. Nothing we can do about it, though, unfortunately. Hey, Miss Shishido, before we go... Hmm? Since we're losing one of our own, do you mind if we try something? It's called Suchiko Ever After. Not Suchiko, my bad, Sachiko. Who's Sachiko? And what's with the paper doll? Is this another one of your occult things? Hey, kind of. This is, well, it's a charm that I found on the internet. If we do it right, then all of us will be together forever. Or we'll always be friends. Anyways, that's the gist of it. Oh, it's a charm. Yep, that's all Shizuno, uh, should, uh, fuck these goddamn names. Uh, Shinozaki had to say, Suzumoto is totally blockers for that kind of stuff. Guess it can't hurt. Is everybody okay with this? Yeah, sure. I'm fine with it. Yay, charms. Sure, whatever. Um, uh, more, more should get. What the fuck? I can't. These names. Uh, Morishigi? I think that's how you pronounce that. Uh, yes. Uh, looks like look like eyes have it. Wait, what? What? Look like the eyes have it. Oh, like I and A. Okay, cool. The floor is yours, Shinoski. Uh, Shin uh, Shinozaki. Fuck. Great. Okay, everybody, gather in a circle around this paper Sachiko doll. And in your head, repeat the words, Sachiko. We beg of you. Uh, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine times. Don't worry if you flub it a little. Make sure you don't stop partway though. You have to say it one time for every person present. No more, no less, or the charm will fail. Sure, let's do this occult shit at the middle of night in this fucked up building. Nothing would ever happen. Nothing would go bad. What could possibly go wrong? Alright, let's, uh, let's get started. Everybody remember the charm? Sure, let's do that. Ready? Begin. I'm not saying it. They're not going to make me say it. I assume they said it. Everybody said it nine times? Yep. Exactly nine. Yeah, yeah, let's get on with it. If we don't, I'm afraid I'll wind up saying it again. Okay, now everybody reach towards the paper doll. And grab hold of it anywhere you can. Like this? Exactly. Now hold on really tight. Dig your nails into it if you have to. Just don't let go. We're gonna pull it on- oh, wait, what? We're gonna pull it until it rips apart into nine pieces, okay? Well, on the count of three. One, two, pull! Nicely done, everyone. Now just make sure you keep the scrap of paper safe. Slide it on your student ID holder or in your wallet. Basically anywhere it won't get lost. Hmm. As long as we all have the little pieces of Sachiko with us. We'll always be connected with one another as friends. That's the purpose of this charm. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. I don't know, man. It was pretty fucked up. Pretty cool. Try super cool. I'll have to be extra careful not to lose my piece. Thank you, Shin uh, Shinos uh, fuck, Shinozaki. I'll treasure this. This piece of paper. Like it's fucking Luffy from One Piece. No problem, consider our, our, our promise that we'll all definitely hang out together again. Definitely. Well, I hate to say it, but I think it's about time we all packed up and started heading home. Yes, ma'am. An earthquake? What the hell? This is like, holy crap big! All right. Everyone stay calm. Get under the desk until it passes. Hurry. Uh, the floor. Everybody hang on to something if you can.
What the hell is happening? Can't. Damn it. I can't see a thing. Naomi, where'd you where are you? Where'd you go? Satoshi. Is everybody okay? Are we all good? We alive? Ouch. Ow, my leg. I can move it, so I guess it's just a sprain. Huh? Where? Am I not at home? Am I? It can't be. Hmm? It's so dark, I can barely see a thing. Is this the school? What's going on? What the hell is this place? Huh. So I controlled the girl first, that's interesting. Alright, well... Can I walk up here? Huh! Is that Psycho? Psycho! Psycho! This isn't good. Well, I can't get to her like this, I guess I'll just... enter through the other door. Coming to save you. Ow! Fuck! I really hurt. My ankle's in pretty bad shape. So don't touch the wood? <laughs> Heavenly Post, third student reported missing. One by one, the young students of Heavenly Host School seems to be disappearing as now a third student has joined the ranks of the missing. Classmate testified the fifth grader was on her way home from school but got separated from her friends in the hall and hasn't been seen since. Police are investigating the possibility of a serial kidnapping and have assigned countless investigators to the case in hopes of a speedy resolution. However, ten days have already passed since the first disappearance, giving parents and classmates ample cause for concern. Hmm, alright. Seiko, you're right. Thank goodness, she's still breathing. Seko, come on. Seko, wake up. Hmm. What's up? A fucking earthquake happened. That's what's up. And everybody's gone for some reason. What a bunch of assholes. They just left us. Don't you what's up, me? I thought you were dead. Hmm? Uh, where... Where are we? What's going on? That's what I like to know. Ugh, oh, this ain't budging. These windows are sealed up tight. And it's pitch black out there. I can't make heads or tails of what I'm seeing. What the hell is going on? Well, this is clearly a school building. Don't the desk seem usually small to you? Unusually small to you, though? Like an elementary school. An elementary school? It can't be, can it? What is it? The printout on this wall. It says, Heavenly Host Elementary. Notice to all faculty and students. Heavenly Host? Isn't that... the elementary school that preceded Kisaragi Academy? The one that was shut down and demolished? Oh god, what's happening? Where the hell are we? And where are our friends? And Miss Yui? Wow, so I guess the teacher's not your friend? That's fucked up. Deep breathing. Oh, my bad. I thought she was saying it to her. I mean, she's de <laughs> deep breathing. Calm down, Seko. Don't get so worked up. Sorry. Come in. Come in outside. Seko and I just stood there in silence, hand in hand. It was the first time in my life that I'd been shaking so hard I could hear my teeth chatter. 
I became completely lightheaded and couldn't even think straight, much less wrap my brain around what was happening to us. I keep telling myself, it's all a dream, some horrible nightmare. But no matter how hard I wished for it, I just couldn't wake up. And the silence was the worst part of it all. I couldn't take it anymore. I had to say something, anything. Hey. I don't have the slightest idea what's going on. But how are we trying to find our way out of here? How are we trying to find our way? How about we try? <laughs> a way out? We can't just stand here quaking in terror. We need to do something, you know? Besides, I don't want to be in this creepy place any longer than I have to. But the windows are all shut up. Shut up? God, the, we the wheel uh, can't speak. The windows are all sealed up. Sealed up shut. You know what I mean? Fuck. And I was just... Oh, God, I can't read. And I just don't mean they're stuck or locked. It's like they're decorations on the wall. I don't even think they can open. Is it even possible to leave this building? I'm not sure. But there might be an entrance way or an emergency exit or something. Something me Some means of getting out of here. You're right. And it's a lot better than just standing around. I feel like I'm going to go all loony in here if we keep this up. Okay, then. First step is to leave this room. We gotta keep our spirits up, after all. It's probably not just the two of us in here. The others have to be around somewhere, right? Yeah. And if we can reunite with them, we'll find a way out of here together. God, that was loud. <laughs> Alright. That's the spirit. I had no reason to believe any of what I just said. I was probably delirious, to be honest. But I knew that if I didn't act, i start going mad. i start to scream. I'd be inconsolable. And... and cons uh, can't speak. So, in desperation, I put on the strongest front I could manage. Character Introductions. Direct the eye towards any character and press the action key to learn more about him or her. When you're done, exit through the door on the southeast side of the room to resume play. Okay. I'm an eyeball. That's cool. So let's go in order, I guess. Satoshi Michioda, age 17. Student Kisaragi Academy Senior High, class 29. Fairly average, but popular. Known for being both kind and cowardly in equal measure, so our main protagonist. Alright, cool. Despite his timidness, he's very personable and open, which complements his general sensitivity towards others and makes him a natural leader. The one person ever to challenge that leadership is Naomi, who is consequentially the only person to whom Satoshi regularly dif uh, differs judgment. So she's the tsundere, I guess? Naomi Nakashima. Na Nakashima? Yeah, Nakashima. Age 16, a student in Kisaraki Academy's senior high class 2-9, and a classmate of Satoshi's since junior high. Frequently greets Satoshi with, oh, not you again. Having lost her father a few years back, Naomi and her mother now depend on one another f uh, for moral support. Still, she remains optimistic, ugh, optimistic and cheerful. Her home life has given her an, an interest in nursing, which she intends on pursuing. She spends her time studying, aiming to aiming for acceptance to medical school. Okay. That's cool. Seiko Shino no she uh, fuck. God, lower this fucking volume. <laughs> I gotta lower the volume for me. Hold up. Lower this for my headset. It might it might end up lowering the uh I hope it doesn't end up lowering the overall sound. Right? Let me see. Alright, I don't think it lowered the volume. Alright, now I can fucking hear myself think. Once I regain control of this shit again. Alright, there we go. Uh, what's her name? Senko Shinohara, age 16. A free spirit, she's often said or does things that takes others by surprise. Though she also easily forgives, uh, is forgiven due to her genuine good nature. Her mother disappeared three years ago, leaving her with three younger siblings and a working father. As such, she basically serves as head of the he household. 
Seko seems to regard Naomi as a kindred, as a ugh, fuck kindred spirit, and the two of them frequently have long conversations about their many dreams for the future. So they're super best friends. Got it. Yuka Mochita, age 14. Satoshi's little sister. God damn it, she looks like she's nine. Though she's an eighth uh, eighth grader at Kisaragi Academy Junior High School, she looks and acts much younger. Well, yeah, that's what I was saying. In the Mochita household, Yuka's always been the princess, generally getting her way and thus never really shedding, uh, shedding her childlike behavior. Despite this, she yearns to grow up, often attempting to act older or braver than she is. And this often gets her into trouble. Well, you better keep that shit in wraps while you're here. Miss Yui Shishido, age 23. An 11th grade English teacher at Kisaragi Academy Senior High School. Just started this semester after passing her teaching exam. Alright, I was wondering, she's pretty young for a teacher. And is eager to make the, an impression. Though not a perfect instructor by any means, her unjaded zeal and enthusiasm are infectious. And her students seem to generally, uh, seem generally responsive to her methods. Also serves as a teacher assistant during homeroom for class 2-9 and, re and really seems to have connected with the students there. When she's in charge, all eyes are on her, always. Alright. Yoshiki. Yoshiki Kishi Kishinuma? Kishinuma? I think that's how you pronounce that? Age 17? A student in Kisaragi, uh, Kisaragi Academy Senior High Class 2-9. Often regarded as a sarcastic and cynical... Uh, fuck. God. I need a drink of my water. Fucking dry-ass mouth over here. God, you try reading without fucking it up out loud. Damn it. But as far as he's concerned, he's just being honest. Although generally not one of the not one to participate in events, his fondness for Satoshi and wait what? Okay, so I guess he's the good friend for Satoshi and Ayumi. Um, yeah, Ayumi. That's how you pronounce that, right? He'll make an exception now and again if either is involved. With intense drama at home, Yoshiki currently works part time after school to afford rent on a small apartment where he lives alone. Okay. Ayumi Sinos, uh, Sinozaki, age 17. The appointed, the appointed representative of Kisaragi Academy, class 2-9, often subjects her classmates to ghost stories and reveals, reveals in hearing them scream. Wait, what? And revels, my bad, not reveals, what am I saying, revels. It's generally believed that she carries candles and other horror goods with her at times like this, just in case an opportunity presents itself to use them. In truth, however, Ayumi, uh, however, Ayumi wears this reputation as a mask to hide her own fear of the unknown, which reveal, rivals even Satoshi's in his intensity. When faced with a truly scary situation, her knees give out and panic sets in. Only her personal pride can break her out of this fear-induced state. Okay. So what about the other characters? Weren't there like two more characters here? Are they done? Are they gonna die? Oh, if they're not being introduced, they're definitely dying. What's over here? Can I check this? No? Alright, cool. Yes, I'll leave then. End character introductions and return to the game? Yeah, sure, why not? Come on, Naomi, let's go. Alright. And then we merge together to form one strong unit. Alright. Nothing here. Uh, hey, Naomi? Hmm? Is something wrong with your legs? Oh yeah, I was so freaked out I forgot all about it. I think I might have sprained my ankle. Well, that's not good. Will you be okay? I can walk at least. I'm sure it'll heal on its own. Yeah, but if you shouldn't push yourself up, shouldn't push yourself here, lean on my shoulder, okay? Naomi? Oh, my bad. <laughs> okay, thanks. I read her name out loud. I wanna see this. The shelves are filled to overflow with long black hairs. What? stay away from those I've seen enough Japanese horror to know what the hell's going on wait a sec another earthquake no is it over Phew. I've had enough let's just get out of this room sounds like a plan wait what's wrong this hallway looks totally different than it did before Maybe the earthquake made more of the floor collapse? Yeah, maybe. 
Maybe. This fucking bucket wasn't here before. There's a yellow fluid concealer inside the rusted bucket. What the heck is this, pee? Ew, don't say that. Well, I'm gonna stay away from that. What is this, glass? Okay. Well, that would lead to the classroom down there, so... I guess we're going... The gap is relatively narrow here. It seems crossable, but it's a little too wide to risk jumping. Okay. So I guess I'll just walk back down here? What's this? There's a loose board lying on the ground here. Take it with you? Yeah, why not? Um... Okay, that was a creepy noise for getting an item. Well, it's Legend of Zelda, this shit. Hey, Naomi. What about the loose board we found? You think it would support our weight? <laughs> like a bridge? I don't know. It seems kind of beat up, but I guess it is pretty solid. Too risky? No, try it. It's our only way out of here. Okay, that worked. Let's read this. Can't read it. It is illegible. Class 2A. What happened to the music? Why'd it get all why to get all quiet and shit? Them some bones. God, don't do that. Ow, what's wrong, Naomi? You almost knocked her off the edge. Look, over there, aren't those bones? Like people bones? And now you almost ran off the edge. What what? Why? Why is there a dead person here? Wait, let me look at them more closely. Maybe they're not real. Alright. They, they really are somebody's bones. No! Seko? You too. Huh? You two are new victims, are you not? Uh, a g g g g g ghost who who are you I was brought here against my will and confined just like you confined do you mean there's no way out I'm afraid not the school exists in reality in, in a reality all its own cut off from the world you know so why why have we been brought here they brought you. They're con consent. Wait, what? Constantly bringing new victims into the school. Sinless, innocent, one after another, all trapped in here, doomed to live out the rest of their days in this hell. Who are they? This is a cursed, multi dimensional nexus, multiple planes of existence, all piled on top of one another, created by powerful, vengeful spirits. Close space, or perhaps close spaces. You and we as well are the unlucky victims of their twisted whims. We have all been abducted. Close spaces? Indeed. And it seems you two are not the only ones to have been brought here. I'm sensing numerous others. What? Does that mean everybody else is here too? And they. Okay, I wonder. So, our friends are in this school too. I don't know the exact number, but I do know that others were pulled into these spaces at the same time as you. They are definitely in this school. Oh my god! That's such good news, Naomi. They're here. We're not alone. That means Mochita is here too. I'll bet that makes you feel a lot better, right? However, you cannot meet them. They're definitely in the school, but the space they occupy differs from the space we occupy. If you wish to see your friends, you must find some means to enter their space, or bring them into this space. So the school has multiple realities and we have to, like, drag them through? Even then, escape is not impossible, but at least, you'll be able to die together. 
Oh. Oh, God. Is there no way out of here, then? You said we were brought here by vengeful spirits, right? Who are they? And why have they taken us? I don't know. Either the motives or the captors. Nor a means of escaping this hell. All I know is that with some effort, you can at least live your days together. In the same space. And that alone is fate worth fighting for. Two heads are better than one. Your chances and your opportunities are so much greater with working together. Do whatever you can to find a way out of here. Don't end up like us. You know, Mr. Spirit, if I just bring your bones with me, can can I just like, can you just, you know, give me some pointers? Tell me, tell me how not to fuck up. Oh my God. Naomi, run. We have to get out of here now. Okay. I'm getting out of here. The fuck are you writing on the... She was writing something. Maybe it was important. Everything is not Daijobu. Yeah. What the hell was that? A child spirit? It... Did uh, it did kind of glow? I never believed in ghosts before. Is this really happening? There were definitely ghosts in there. First time I've ever seen anything like that. So you saw it too, right? Yeah, and we were talking to it. I just don't understand any of this. Except that there's no easy way out for us. Like it or not, we're stuck in here. It'll be okay. Let's just, you know, march on with our heads held high or something. I... Will she still be in there? Is this a bad idea? She, she was writing something. There's a fucking candle in here, too. What the heck is this? Was this here before? I don't know, but it's just a picture, right? A picture of what? Can I can I see the damn thing? The image on the board depicts a figure holding a pair of scissors, pursuing four smaller figures. Yikes! It's it's Clock Tower. Huh? What's this? Was was there was there always a candle here? I don't think so. But doesn't it look awfully familiar? Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that. Okay. Alright, well. I guess I'll head this way. Oh, fuck! What the hell? <laughs> was that... Was that the game? Jesus. Sound like a fucking fly just went in my ear. God damn it. You can't do that. Wait, let, let me. What? Hold up. Bullshit. In a minute, you hit all your friends. Eventually, you'll kill one another. Oh, fuck. If, ga if the game's gonna be pulling sound shit like that, that's some bullshit. God, I really hope that wasn't the game. Why did why did it get darker? Oh, that's not good. Oh, oh God, what the hell is this? That is the fucking game. Ah, oh, I hate that shit. It's horrifying. It's like somebody was thrown from the other end of the hall at superhuman speed. And just splattered everywhere. It smells so meaty. Oh. Sorry, are you okay, Naomi? I'm fine. Let's just get away from here. Okay. Alright. So when the screen gets dark, it means spooky shit's happening. It means bad things. Okay, there's a plank of wood here. 
I'll take that. The game's still scaring me for taking wood. Um. Oh, more dead, more dead bodies. All right, cool. The mostly bleached skeleton remains of a female student lies sprawl across the floor. Loose bones and scraps of clothing are dangling from a hole in the ceiling above the body, suggesting that she fell to her death from the second floor. Upon closer inspection, there's a student ID name tag attached to what's left on her uniform. CC. CC? Sai Sai? Mm. Academy for Girls, class. Class I2. Use, uh, use a hug. Fuck. Use a hug, Mikami. Oh. You collect tags. Okay. For what purpose? I told everyone that I had to go with them. So why have I been left behind? It hurts. It hurts so much. Looks like there really have been a lot of different people brought here. I wonder how many. It'll all work out for us, though. I'm sure of it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gonna get crazy and kill someone, aren't they? We're all gonna end up killing each other. If you wish to leave this place, you must take heed of the message left behind by the days other victims who- Wait, what? Left behind by the many other victims- Where did I put the word days from? What? Where did I get that word? Left behind by many other victims who have died here. Many victims have left their thoughts or even their dying messages on the scraps of paper that litter these walls. It hurts. It hurts so much. Alright, we'll do. I'll try and read every paper I come across. Are there gonna be like hidden papers, like on walls I can't see or something? Take every bit of advice that I can. Did I just do a circle? Wasn't I here before? Class 5A. Alright, well... This is a new room. It looks the same, but... Hello? Mmm! Okay, what's that ominous shit over there? A crumpled up note fell from the skeleton's hand. You're an idiot, Kita. Uh, Kyoto? Or whatever fuck, I don't know. Kyoto? I guess. If you don't believe with all your heart, that will never get rescued. I thought we were friends. The skeleton remains of a girl with a big hole in her skull are still sitting on the chair. Closer inspection reveals a student ID name tag. Okay. Asuka Kota. Alright. There's something over there. Might be important. Can I use my board to get over there? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Okay, well, let's... Let's get out of here. Um... Hello? If you don't keep a close eye on it, that light's going to run away from you. Pay attention to its location. Find the exact spot where it once stood and examine it thoroughly. Okay, thanks. But how do I get over there? Oh, I can just walk on over there. When we came in the back, it jumped to the front. So how about one of us waits over there? Okay, well, it was over here, right? I'd say one of us waits over there, but what about what about here? Okay, well, about like, I want to say like two two steps away from there. Thanks for the heads up, ghost. One, two. So about like here. Is this the spot where you saw the weird glowy thing? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Alright. Stay there. The spirit left. Someone gonna get hurt? Should we not be splitting up? Ah, there we go. Almost got it. Ah, gotcha. Naomi, I got it. You did? Nice job turned out to be this. Acquired infirmary key. Goes to show you what a little teamwork can do, huh? 
<laughs> we'll make a great team. Okay. Two girls are gonna fucking die tonight. Uh, why is the screen getting super dark? Listen, I don't scare easy, but I do get creeped out easy, so. There's a handwritten letter on the floor. I'm a goner, sis. The tendons in my ankle have been cut really bad. The bleeding just won't stop. Please, don't give up. I want you to live, for the both of us. I'm going to document everything I've learned so far in hopes that you can use this information to help you keep yourself safe. First, all the windows, doors, all the windows, doors, and outside walls of this school are completely immovable. You can't open them, can't break them, can't bust them down. Anything that doesn't lead outside the school, uh, what? Anything that doesn't lead outside the school, though, like the hall windows and the classrooms, can be affected to some extent or another. What? Anything that doesn't lead outside the school, like the hall windows and classroom. Okay. So, like... <clears throat> so, like, windows inside classrooms? But not windows that lead outside. Okay. Okay. Just as some people are inherently good or bad nature, some of the ghosts in here are good while others are quite nasty. Fuck. Really? The more kind and gentle spirits shade, uh, sh uh, fuck, shed a pale blue light, while the less savory types appear in blood red and glow like fire. Okay. Hi, how's it going? And how's your night tonight? I'm having a lovely time playing this get myself killed. There's partly bleached skeletons sprawled across the floor. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the fuck is wrong with me? Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any sort of name tag on this. Based on the gore-soaked remains of the uniform and the length of the hair scattered around the head, it's safe to say this was a female student. Ooh. A lot of female students dying here. We have yet to see a male student. Custodian Closet. The door is affixed to the wall like a decoration. It won't open. There is an eccentric no eccentric erratic noise, like there's TV static coming from within. Okay. Well, I guess I will yonder over here. Right into a wall. What? Why did she walk like that? Was that like a loading screen or some shit? Okay. Classroom 4A, the door seems attached to the wall like a sculpture. It won't budge in the slightest. Okay, what about you? My head is splitting. It's unbearable. I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. When we found Yuzo's body, I, I saw a black shadow. But I didn't tell anyone about it, and now it's killed them all. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. The lower half of the text is obscured by a thick layer of dried blood. Yikes. You got a name, a name tag? The skeleton remains sprawled across the floor here, small enough to be a middle schooler. Looking closer, you can see the student's ID name tag. Okay. Oh, so you're the one that... Alright. You're the one that the person said you betrayed them or some shit? I don't know. Fuck. Alright, what about this? The door is nailed shut. It's definitely not going to open anytime soon. Do not enter under any circumstances. Principal Takami Yana Sh Yana G oh, fuck can't say these names. Yana Gihori. Yeah, he's a Hori, all right. Oh yeah, this is this is locked. Okay, cool. Let us move on. It keeps transitioning to some shit, like like it's loading something to fucking scare the shit out of me. Okay, so I went through those doors. There was nothing up here, right? That door's locked. That's a letter. So I guess I'll head downstairs. Make my way downtown. Walking fast. Face is passing. I'm homebound. So blue spirits are good spirits. Red spirits can go fuck themselves, I assume. I read this, right? Yep. Read as many papers as I find. Okay.
This is a doorway, right? Infamy. What game is this? This is, um, Corpse Party. I believe this is the original Corpse Party? I'm not sure. They had a remake, but I'm, I'm assuming because of the art style and shit. Like the way the character portraits are drawn, that this is the original. I'm not sure if I want to head to the infirmary yet. I haven't checked up here. That's some blood. Some blood and gore and some, some bad stuff. Was this chair always here? Alright. Admit it, you hate all your friends. I read that. Nothing up here. Um... I went in that classroom, I believe, to go pick up some shit. Right? Is it... Oh, okay. So I'm back to where I was before. I wanna... I wanna see if there's anything down here that I might have left behind. <laughs> it's literally in the title. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. As you can tell from my reading, I seem to add a couple of words that don't exist. If you should die here, you'll experience the pain you felt at the moment of death for all eternity. Oh, fuck. Heaven's completely cut off. No paradise. No nirvana. Just eternal pain. Gah. Why did I have to die like that? Ooh. Oh! Hey, you dropped something. Acquired an unknown key. So, we'll feel pain. We'll feel the pain of death forever? Best not to think about that. Alright. Sounds like a plan. Let's not let's not think about death. Well, at least I got something. I can try opening up one of those doors upstairs now. Because we have a mysterious key. Did I open this door? Door's locked. Oh! Okay, the unknown key opened it. Nice. Oh! Tell me what's wrong. I don't know, it's like... My heart skipped a beat as soon as the key was turned. I have a really bad feeling about this room. Ah, oh, trust me, it'll be fine. I mean, it's just a locked door. You know what that means, right? Booty. Uh, but, wait, what? <laughs> Booty? <laughs> Behind every locker, that 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 can't speak. Behind every locked door lies a hidden treasure, just waiting to be claimed. Can't you hear it calling you? I think that's the sound of death. Enter, don't enter. Mmm, you're really fucky here. It's the beginning of the game. What can go wrong? Oh shit. Let's read the paper first. Breaking news: serial kidnapping ends in murder. Oh god. The good name of Heavenly Host Elementary School has been stained with blood today as hor horrific details on the recent wave of disappearances are revealed. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town, and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. Now investigators have located the whereabouts of these children, and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bodies of the, uh, ab what the fuck, what? <laughs> Abconded? Ab ab abs absent? Fuck. I can't read. Sorry. Of the disappearing youths were discovered within the Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September 18th, 1973 at around 7 p.m. Authorities further revealed that a male instructor from the school was found with them, alive but near cat catatonic, holding a pair of blood bloodied scissors. Okay. Each of the corpses had its tongue severed and removed. Something mutilation is far too grotesque, I guess, to describe. The page is just torn at the point, and the bottom half of the article is nowhere to be found. How awful. I think I heard about this, though, once before. Not me, but I guess it did happen long before we were born, so I shouldn't be too surprised. Oh, shit. Huh? You can't be doing this. Another dead body. The message has been painstakingly scratched into the floor with fingernails. Whatever you do, don't look at the newspaper. Fuck! God damn it! 
Oh, shit. Now you tell me. Oh, wow. Okay. There's a candle here, but it's unlit. Message has been written on the desk with magic marker in big letters. Let's hate one another with all we have fucking sheep. Oh. Uh... God, my phone just fucking started giving me notifications. God damn it. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> Fuck my life. The door seems fixed to the wall like a decoration. It won't open. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Okay, well... You you got anything else to tell me, skeleton? Well, it's the only way. You will never leave this room. Fuck. Uh. I can't interact with the candle no more. Okay, there we go. Let's hate one another with all the. F okay. All right. We'll never leave this room. The more I read the newspaper, more things get fucked up, I guess. There's no way out. Oh, what do we do? This is your fault, you know. What now? Just never mind. Um... Shin, Shin, Aichi, Aichi, that's how you say it? Well, thanks. Oh man, that scared the crap out of me. Fuck yeah! Hold up. Oh no, it's gone. Did you lose your piece of paper? What is? The paper doll scrap I had from Ayumi. Mmm, I don't think you should be losing that. Ah, oh, the charm? Am I still my student ID holder? Crap, I put mine in my pocket. It must have fallen out somewhere. That's why I keep telling you, you need to put things away before it gets lost. Now I'm sad. Um, can we go look for it? Hey, Skeleton, did you steal some paper? Um... I might have just got her killed or something, I don't... I'm pretty sure when you start a, a fucked up ritual and you're like, hold on to the paper, don't lose it forever, and you lose your paper, I think that's a pretty big deal. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. She's gonna die tonight. Well, into the infirmary we go! Okay. That was a loud noise, a candle lit... Let's look at the candle first. Let's do that. Do I only have three save slots? Let me see. All right. Well, PC, thanks. Thanks for nothing. How do I? How do I exit out of this? Where's my backspace key? There we go. All right. What the hell is this thing? It's an old-fashioned space heater, but it's so full of ash that it's probably never gonna light again. A box of matches is on the ground next to it. Take them. I don't know. Should I look for a piece of paper that tells... There's a piece of paper right here. Wash your hands with soap. Oh, all right. Where? Where's... I'll do that. The handle turns, but no drop of water comes out. Mm -hmm. There's a lamp on the desk, but it doesn't seem to work. Flipping the switch does nothing. There's an old journal on the desk. 
At least it appears to be a journal. In reality, it's more like a model fused to the desk surface. It can't be lifted and the pages can't be turned. There's an old journal. Okay, same thing. There's beds. They said wash your hands with soap. I mean, I... What was this? There's an anim... Oh, fuck. I can't even say this goddamn word. Atomical? Atomical, probably. Atomical diagram of the human body tacked to the wall. Looking closely, it seems as if someone painted over each of the organs with actual blood. Well, that's fucked up. The paper on the wall is telling me to wash my hand with soap. I can't find soap. Water don't work. A pair of scissors and one... Oh. That's not good. Both blades covered in liter uh, liberally in blood. Hmm. Hmm. This is just a death room, isn't it? Vast quantities of medicines and tonics are lined up uh, on each of the shelves, along with a single bottle of rubbing alcohol. I could take one or two bottles with me, but I probably just end up breaking them and cutting myself. Besides, I don't trust anything in here. Well, maybe I can go find some soap. Let's go find some soap. Let's go do that. Maybe, uh, was it up here? No, I think it was further down. There's like a custodian locker somewhere. Maybe I can find some soap in there. The kind spirit told me to listen to all the papers on the wall, so I'm gonna do that, you know? I'm gonna try and follow that as best as I can. So I think over here was the custodian's room. Can't open it at all? Nope. Alright, well. Hmm. Alright. Well, I guess I'll go take those matches then. Okay. Back into the infirmary. Don't know why it has to do that stinger music every time I walk in and be all creepy and shit. Old fashioned space heater. Matches. Yes. Acquired a box of matches. Now can I wash my hands? Alright, well I got some matches. Okay, that was the game just loading for some reason. Um... Nothing else to do here? Can, can I not light it up? It won't light again. Okay, so what about the lamp? It's just an electric lamp. Alright, well... Pair of scissors. Yeah, okay. Maybe there's... There was a candle in one of the other rooms. Up here. Maybe I can use the... The matches to light that. Was it... This room? Yes. Nope. Won't let me use my lighter. Alright. Well, not lighter. What am I saying? My matches. Okay. So, let's... Hmm. Was there anything over here? Rows of dead bugs are neatly arranged each themselves. Okay. Well, this is back in the beginning. So... There was a bucket over here. I gotta go through the, through the room. <clears throat> I remember them being like a bucket, bucket of something, bucket of piss or something like that. There's a yellow fluid concealing inside the rust bucket. 
And this is the room we started in. Gap. Yes, I will do that. I'll do just that. Where do you lead? Save point. Uh, I'll rotate saves. Why not? Let's do that. This is a new area. That looks like blood. Such tiny shoes. This really was an elementary school, huh? Yeah. You and the others must be getting pretty hungry by now. Oh yeah, I forgot. Your father's working late tonight, isn't he? Yep, all those mouths to feed don't come cheap after all. And while Dad's working to put food in them, I get to use, uh, I guess to be the house, the house food? What? I don't, I don't, I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, I guess you and them are still just little kids, so somebody would need to be around. You're pretty amazing, sicko. High schooler and mom all rolled into one. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about that statement. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's funny. We're all gonna die. I just have to get back to them, though. Guess it's time this. Uh, guess it's the same for you too. Your mom's waiting for you, Naomi. But we'll make it back. I know we will. One day or another, we'll get out of this place. You bet. All right. Um. Can I not go in here? Is there another pathway that I missed? I don't think so. Is there really nothing down there for me? It was, it was just that scene? Nothing to pick up or anything. Can't go through this door. Alright. Is this not interactable here? Nope. Well, I believe there was a locked door leading somewhere. That was prohibited to open by the principal, so let's go and see if we can fuck with that. Was it... was it over here? Oh no, this is a different area. And this is locked off, right? Yep. That's a real catchy little tune. I like it. Aw, shit. I guess I gotta find like another piece of wood or something. I can use it to get across there. If I can find me another piece of wood, it'll be it'll be lovely. Trying to keep my eye out, see if there's any planks laying about. Yeah, anything useful to say, ghost? Yeah, it hurts. Yeah, I know. Was it over here? Yes, it was. I read this, right? Yeah, my head splitting. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I read that. All right, cool. Doors nailed shut. Don't, don't go through. All right, well... This was locked. Where the hell? And this room was, um... Was the room with you in it. With the little... The little glowy thing. That I got, which was the infirmary key. 
What am I missing? Okay. There's something that I'm obviously missing around here. Not gonna lie, I'm also getting kind of lost in this school. Oh, so this was on the other side. All right. So I guess it was just that one scene over there. Back into the infirmary, I guess. With the shock stinger music. interact with the beds? Nope. Hmm. Guess the point of this room was just a save point and matches them. Is this... Look like it would be stairs there. Oh. Was this door always here? The door seems almost like a model. As it's sculpted onto the wall, there's no way of opening it. Okay, well, I didn't notice that door there. I'm really confused. Is it possible for me to go pick up the, um, the plank that I put on the ground? I gotta go above. No, I gotta go over. That was, that's confusing the hell out of me. Is there really, like, no... No extra plank hanging around? There's that plank right there, and then there's the one that I used down here. Can I pick this back up? Doesn't seem like it. And I can't do nothing with this bucket. Oh, fuck! Okay. There's a door in the back of the room, but just as, just as with the window, it's fixed and placed like a decoration. I... okay. There's nothing here. There's gotta be... there's gotta be something. What am I missing? I really don't want to, like look up anything for this game. I might have to. I really hope it's not like a fucking obvious answer staring me in the face or something. If it is, it'll be it'll be highly highly embarrassing. Like, nothing down here, really? Like, can't even go through the doorway? Damn. Can't even, like, pick up the shoe to, I don't know, throw it at something? Completely empty down here. Really not pick this back up. Once you use it, it's over. Shit. I'm gonna do one more lap around. If I can't find anything, then I guess I would, uh... I'm gonna have to look up how to progress. I don't want to, but... Seems like my only option, really. Mr. Skeletor, you don't have anything for her? Help me. Help me. Judging by size, this period to be remains of a junior high school student and close inspection reveals a name tag. Okay. Is that a new one? Is that a new name? I don't think I've read that one. 
Those are dead bugs. This one was a picture of scissors. Someone chasing somebody with scissors. I read that. Hmm. This is the room that scared the shit out of me. Outside window is dimly lit as almost in, in, ah, God. imperceptible. Room is a sheer wall of dense foliage stretching as far as the eye can see. There's not even a hint as to what may lie beyond it. Hmm. Okay. Like, I have matches. I can't light this up. Damn. Nothing on the desk. I want to stay as far away from my newspaper as possible. There's some spooky shit on there. Nothing on this chair. Nothing in this corner. Just gore. Can I look at it? Is there something in it? Huh. This is the infirmary. Is there really nothing for me to do in the infirmary? Like, for real? Like, absolutely? Told me to wash my hands, right? Check the windows. This candle here. This is where I got the matches. There's an old journal on the desk. Yeah, this is in the lamp. And this. Okay. Nothing. Hmm. I am out of ideas. You got any ideas for me, chat? Are you fucking like, for real? Like, absolutely nothing. Nada. Just, just zip. Hey, Mr. Spirit, you wanna help me out here? Hurt so much, yeah, fuck you. I guess search it up. Yeah. Once I once I finish this last lap. Is this my last lap? I think so, right? It gets dark over here, like spooky over here. Fuck. Can I not, like, burn a goddamn door down? This is locked. Is there nothing like hidden over here? Guess I'll look it up then. Give it the good old college try. Fuck. Can I check the desk? I mean, I tried. Most desks are kind of empty. I would assume that, uh... I would need like a um a piece of wood because there's like a there's like a spot. This person's dead. It hurts. Yeah, this person gives us a hint. Before I go, I want you to know some things, my dear sis. Wait a minute, what? Wait, what? Live, sister, live for both of us. Just wants you to be free from this pain. It's saying different shit. Uh, that was different from before when I read it the first time. Okay, well, yeah, I guess I'll just, I'll just, I'm gonna just look it up. Then fuck. I don't want to, but really don't have no choice. I would like to progress somewhere in this game. Alright. Corpse party. 
Corpse Party 1. Uh, I guess I'll just... I guess I'll just look up Chapter 1. Corpse Party Walkthrough Guide. Alright, Introductions. After you're done with Chapter Introductions. Okay. Screen begins to shake, gap, blah, blah, blah. Candles now present. All right, pass that. Continue to find another fork. Our path has another gap. Go south instead, which I think I did. Purplish light on the other side of the room. I did that. Went back inside, press X on the spot. Did that. Right. Now the first closed door to your right is the infirmary, but we don't need to go there yet. Instead, keep going north up to the gap you passed earlier and use your loose board to cross it. Wait, what? Was there a second loose board? I mean a third one, because I already picked up two. Jesus. Fuck. Yeah, key is very important. Head east, nose the first. Okay. Inside you see a nearby body inspected. Naomi gets all nervous about this. Ignore her and look and look at the paper to the southwest. The door slams shut. Don't worry, that's supposed to happen. Okay. Find a little blue spirit. Head south towards the gap. Guess I gotta look. I gotta look earlier in the fucking guide. Maybe there's like a third plank of wood that I just missed. As you cross back over the loose board, the screen begins to shake. The gap is now too large to cross with the board, so you can pick it back up. What? fuck are you talking about, game? What do you mean the gap is too big now? Hold up. Game's lying to me. He's telling me I can go pick up a board again. Did I just not trigger it? Let me see this shit. Let me see this shit. Now I'm, now I'm marching my way down there. Or upstairs, or whatever the fuck. Apparently, apparently the screen's supposed to shake, and one of the boards is supposed to, like, come loose for me or some bullshit. Because then I wouldn't be able to progress. Is it you? Hmm. Hmm. Has to be this one because it's all rickety and shit. All right. Maybe something I gotta do with the bucket first, right? Let me see this. Wait, what the fuck? All right, hold up, hold up. We're now back in classroom A1, but to the south, head directly west from the door, and you will see a loose board next to the wall. I picked that up. Square board. Stands out from the rest of the room. Press X next to it. Okay, I did that. But in the hallway, head to the nearby gap. Net that fuck. Nearby gap, press X when facing it. You'll be asked to use the board. Do it and cross, heading down the stairwell. 
Then is a can then there's a candle here. There's a candle here. What the fuck? These are the only two gaps that I have. So like down this stairwell? There's a candle here, yes. Alright. Uh, there are save points of the game, and it's a good idea to save each of them. Mm-hmm. When you are finished, head down to the head down to the other stairs. Head to the first floor. Okay. I'm in the first floor. As you cross back over the loose board, the screen begins to shake. What? The fuck are they talking about? What do you mean, like? Am I supposed to... Am I supposed to save with this candle? Right? And head back up? What the fuck are they talking about? What are they... What the hell? What the hell is this guide on about? This is not how I thought this game would go. Alright. Head down here. Right. Right. Following the guy to the letter. Alright. Head east until another large gap and follow the turn south. Alright. Until I see another large gap. Then I turn south. Alright. Bam. At the bottom, you will find a door. Press X on it. Or space. Interact with it. Whatever. Okay, so when I was tapping on it earlier, it didn't do shit. But you gotta do it pixel perfect. Alright. Okay. Okay. No good. It won't budge. Didn't feel like it didn't feel a uh, fuck. I didn't feel like this game gave it its fucking all. Yeah, so close and yet so far. Well, guess we better look for another way out. Yeah. And then I go back up. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Really? Really? That's some bullshit. That's some classic ass bullshit. Give me my fucking board. How dare you? How dare you waste my time with this bullshit? Play Corpse Party, they said. It's a great game, they said. Uh huh. Yeah, it's a great game. Bullshit you. That's what it does. I'm sitting here trying to be spooked. And instead, they're giving me some bullshit. How was your first hour in the game? Oh, I was running around in circles because I couldn't pick up a fucking board with my hands until an earthquake happened. Place loot board? Damn right. Fuck. Who the fuck are you? Can I even get over here? There's a crumpled piece of paper on the ground that seems to have fallen from the corpse's left hand. God will surely save me. Well, my <laughs> God ain't here. A pile of haphazardly strewn human, bo uh, human bones is heaped upon the floor. Upon closer examination, a student ID name tag can be seen sitting out from one side. Okay. Sas uh, Sasha. That's Shinomi. Hmm. All right. Damn, she died. She died like a bitch. Boys room to the left, girls rooms at the end of the hall. All right, cool. There's a clump of unidentifiable meat inside the rusty bucket, completely crawling with maggots. I don't think it's unidentifiable. I think that's just like body parts. So I'm in the girls bathroom. I have the right to be here. I am a female, something shiny over here. Okay. It's gonna be a jump scare in here. You know what? I was told to wash my hands with soap. I will try my best. Oh, something surely is gonna be at the end of this. 
It won't open. Well, go fuck yourself. Uh huh. Guess I'll check the boys' room. I'm not doing any anything bad in here. Wash my hands. You know. Oh fuck. Shut the goddamn door. What the hell was that? That was either an actual voice or, not, or an auditory hallucination. And I really don't know which is more likely. All right, well, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Okay, well. Hey, Naomi. Do you have any of that ass medicine on you? By any chance, you know, the smeary stuff. What? Ass medicine? Huh? What? Again? Yep. My butt's been drier than a desert since we got here. Huh? Well, I got some antibacterial cream if that'll work. Thanks. I'm gonna go butter my pooper with this real good. What the fuck? Yay. What? Do you have any shame at all? I... Uh huh? What just happened? I guess I'll check on her. Shouldn't I go to the bathroom with her? This is purely out of concern. We're in a spooky house. Spooky house, spooky school. This is not perverted. I'm going to check on my friend. Are you okay in here? I don't want to open any of the doors on you. Hello? Nothing. Just checking to make sure you're here. Buttering up your pooper real good. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll make sure you wash your hands with soap. Do I... Do I just leave her? Nothing, just checking to make sure you're here. Okay, well... I, I guess I just go, then... I don't want to leave her, but... Was that Yuka? Is she in the... Is she in the... Boys bathroom? Okay. You okay in here? Just checking, making sure you're here. Sorry for the wait. Don't you dare touch me without washing your fucking hands with soap. Thanks for the cream, Naomi. Put them there. Fuck no. Uh, no problem. Hey, wait. Was that stall open? Hmm? I thought that stall was locked when we got here before. Was it? I didn't even... I didn't have no trouble getting in. Fine. I guess I'll let you off the hook. We have bigger things to worry about after all. I actually just heard Yuka's voice out in the hallway. I think it was someone... I think it was calling from downstairs. Someone. Where did I get the word someone from? Really? Let's go check it out. Right. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? No, I'm not Daijobu. That was close one. My leg. Thanks for lending me a hand. No problem. I'm just glad you didn't fall. I did fall. I'm not sure if you noticed. Seems like you sprained your ankle pretty badly, though. 
We should find you some place to sit down and rest. Yeah, you're probably right. Here, lean on my shoulder for some for the time being. Thanks, I owe you one, Seko. Think nothing of it. Alright. So I'm dead weight now. Guess I'll head to the infirmary? Oh god! I stepped in it! Ew, you did? Here, I got I got some tissues. Maybe you can wipe it off. Uh, these are definitely someone's guts. And when I stepped on whatever part of their body I stepped on, it made a squishy sound, like I just plopped my shoe in a juicy pile of dog shit. Oh god, that's way too much information. You're gonna make me puke. Sorry. There's just no filter on her, is there? She's like, I'm gonna butter up my poop real good. Man, I stepped in some shit. All right, well, now that we did all that, I'm gonna save my game. Guess I'll wash my hands. Damn it. Guess I'll lay down in bed. Somehow I expected the mess to be a lot dustier. They're surprisingly clean. That's good, though. Now you can finally rest your weary bones, Naomi. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lie down for a bit. All tucked away in a corner like that? I've always preferred nooks and corners. They just make me feel safe, I guess. Yeah, you know. When you're a kid and you're, you're sleeping in the bed with your parents or something, you're like, I want to sleep the furthest from the door so that when the monster comes to get me, he fucking goes for you first. <laughs> I know just what you mean. I'm the exact same way. I wonder if there's anything in here we could use to soothe the ankle of yours. Sit tight, Naomi. I'm gonna take a look. Okay, thanks a bunch. Don't thank me yet. I haven't done anything. Make sure you wash your hands. What's up? Ah, this will do nicely. Will it? I got my makeshift splint and some bandages that spring that springs a goner. Now hold still. Oh man, you're a lifesaver. Alright, you're wrapped up tight. How's it feel? Hmm, feels great. Seko, thank you. Heh, <laughs> you're very welcome. I sprained my ankle pretty badly before too, so I know just how you feel. I wish I had some ice cream or... Wait, some ice cream. I wish I had some ice... <laughs> Where did I get the word cream from? I wish I had some ice or something to put on it though. No worries, you've done more than enough already. Uh... You're asleep now. That's a fair enough. That's fair enough, I guess. Glad you agree. <laughs> it's slumber time for me. You really are an oddball, you know that? Did I just hear the door lock or open? I know I'm not the only one who hears that. So hey, Naomi. Hmm? If we find Mochita, have you thought about what you want to do with him? Eh? Well, you know what they say, when two people are faced with a difficult situation, shall we say, it often leads to love. Sweet love. There's really no filter on you. You should well up all your courage and confess your feelings to him. You get all girly with him in this creepy place and your cuteness factor will, show, will grow three sizes in his eyes, I bet. I swear, with you around, I almost feel like we're just shooting the breeze back at school. Like nothing ever happened. <laughs> Thanks for your advice. I'll think about it. I hope we find him soon. Uh-huh. You kind of don't, though, do you? You're thinking about how you wish he didn't have to be uh, put... F -f 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 Fuck, can't read. <laughs> uh, how he didn't have to be put through all this. You want to see him, but you wish you could rest easy knowing that he's safe and sound back home rather than wandering around here, am I right? Must be those maternal instincts of yours kicking in, huh? You're a deep one, to be sure. She may sound like an idiot, but she's right on all accounts. Guess there's no fooling Seka. I've been pretty curt with her since we got here. I'll have to make sure to apologize to her. Oh. 
What was that? Exactly? Eh, sorry. It's just that when I see that ass of yours, I start to drool. What the fuck? What is this game? You're weird. That was Yuka again. I heard it too. I'll go take a look. You stay here and rest, okay? I'll be back in a jiffy. That sounds like a bad idea. I don't think that's such a good idea. I should go too. I insist. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Just keep that ass per perked on that bed. You got it? What? Well, but... Look, your ankle's all dressed and feeling better, right? Don't make it all for nothing. Alright, I guess I'll stay here. I'm gonna die, aren't I? My ankle really does feel a lot better. Seiko has definitely has a definite knack for caretaking. Miss Yui and the others, Satoshi. I wonder what they're all doing right now. Running for their lives? I gotta say, that was pretty impressive that was a pretty impressive reaction. Who ever heard of a class representative with such a sadistic streak? Who ever heard of a boy who can hit a note like that when he screams? Eh, save me! Don't be an ass, Yoshiki. Okay, okay. Let's not have any fighting. I have to admit, though, his reaction was awfully cute. Oof. I just want to see him. Why did this have to happen? I'm gonna save my game. I don't, I don't trust this. I don't trust this. You think I trust this shit? She's gone. Look at that. Blood splattered everywhere. Why is the door locked? On closer inspection, there's no visible bolt keeping the door closed nor any other evidence that has been locked at all. What? But if it's not locked, then why won't it open? Oh, come on. Really? Oh, shit. Mm. Are those children? I'm gonna wash my hands. Let's all go to a field trip together over summer vacation. Huh? What? Look, I wash my hands. My head hurts so bad I can't stop this ringing in my ears. Oh, shit. Fucking let me out of here. That wasn't there before. Doors laced with countless strands of black hair, rooting in a play. Oh God. Oh. Uh oh. Is someone there? It sounds like a ballpoint pen scribbling away on a sheet of paper. Uh. Shelves are empty. Rattle, rattle, look closely, the whole shelf seems to me shaking violently. Um... Sachi? Oh, shit! What the? Yeah. You stay away from me! I need to get away! You stay over there! You! Over there! Hey, you wanna... What? You're full of shit! You stay away from me! Damn it! What the hell are you scribbling away over here? Previous inoperable deaths now shines with an unnatural, almost uh, etherly glow. Wash my hands! Oh shit! I'll burn you, bitch! I'll burn you real good! Oh fuck! You stay over there. 
You don't come any closer, damn it. Stay. No. No. Bad. The real clothes hold the shelves and you be shaking violently. Someone help me. It begins appearing in the journal on the desk and being written by unseen hands. The letters are so mishappened and inconsistent, however, they're completely illegible. Can I burn the damn thing? I got I have I have fucking <gasps> Oh no, I might have trapped myself. Oh no. Oh no, it's over. Wash my hands. Yep, nope. No! Oh god. The black man begins wrapping himself around Naomi's body. There's no question that this is a malevolent force and this this continuous death is inevitable. Oh shit, okay. First you must ensure the patient's arms and legs are tied down, tightly preventing escape. Next, insert a fixed metal object into the patient's mouth to impede jaw movement to keep the mouth What the fuck? Locked in an open position. The patient may attempt to pull back or curl its tongue and impede your progress. Don't worry, the effect of this will prove negligible. Open your scissors all the way and close them hard around the base of the tongue as far as you can manage. The patient will thrash and scream, so it's recommended that you apply as much pressure as possible and attempt to complete your task in one fell swoop. Give me the fucking knife! I mean the scissors! There were scissors here before! Does the shadow have the scissors? Fucking let me out of here! Where all this hair come from? Help! Try using the mask to burn the hair? Fuck yeah! Burn, bitch! Wasn't strong enough to do any sufficient damage! You stay over there. You stay over there. Come on. Come on, you know you wanna- you know you wanna walk around. Damn it. Do I burn it again? I'm gonna bait you back over here. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Burn that shit. Try using that to burn the hair. Uh huh. Just keep doing it. Wasn't strong enough. Oh, wait. There's alcohol in here. You stay there, you bitch. Fuck. Fuck yeah. Run past you as fast as I can. Haha. -ha. Now it's that shit with alcohol. Sploosh. I'm out of here. Bye, bitch. I don't, I don't think I want you to do that. I, I think I'm fine over here. Where the hell is Seko? Oh, what? Why am I coughing blood? Me, what happened? Sorry for the mess. What are you talking about? Don't apologize for barfing, you poor girl. Everything's okay. You'll feel better now that it's out of your system. Oh, the fuck I want? I almost died in here. Need me to rub your back? I think I'll be fine. Thanks, though. Am I not going to tell her that I was attacked? Did you find Yuka? Uh-huh. Looks like we really are the only one, uh, the only two people here. The only two living people, anyways. The place is just way too quiet. How about you, Naomi? Is your leg any better? Are you okay to be up and about? Does that matter? I almost died. While I was resting, I was suddenly attacked by this creepy black apparition thing. What? Oh my god, are you alright? I think so. We should consider that room off limits from here on out, though. That's fine. I'm just glad you're okay. I guess we better keep moving then. Can you stand? Yeah. But 
Where are we supposed to go? Uh, well... We've already been pretty much everywhere we can go in this godforsaken school. And the only other people we come across are all dead. Or trying to kill us. Damn it. There I go again. It's hopeless. We're finished. I'm so tired. I'm acting like a child again. Naomi, come on. It's not all that bad. We'll figure something out. It's not all that bad. I almost died. A class two niners never say die. Right? Uh-huh. Yeah, whatever. We're invincible. I didn't feel invincible back there. Got a hairdresser's appointment first thing in the morning tomorrow, and I intend to keep it. And then in the afternoon, we'll say you and I go get, uh, go get our bikes fixed. Sounds like a plan, right? If we make it back alive, sure. This is sicko. What am I doing? I just can't seem to hold back. Naomi, are you... Like, super duper tired or something? This is not like you. Of course it's not like me. I was attacked. My leg's fucked. I was almost strangled to death. Come on. Rise, raise that chin. The only, thing you, the only thing you have to fear is fear itself. And dying. Now I have somebody chasing me, saying they're going to kill me. What the hell's got you so chipper? Hmm? You just keep smiling and laughing. Do, do I? Tell me, how long is that going to last if it turns out that we can never go home again? Have you given that any thought at all? We'll figure something out. That's a crook, and you know it. That's a crock? Crook? Crock? Ugh. I must have finally cracked under the pressure. This whole situation was just more than my soul could bear. I thought I'd, keep, I'd be keeping Psycho Spirits up till the bitter end. But just like that, I was I was uh, berating her, abusing her. All I had running through my head was pain and sadness. I was like a baby throwing a hissy fit. I was crying out irrationally. I couldn't stop. Venomous words were flowing from my mouth as if someone had turned on a, a spigot? A spigot, you right? Yep. All I could do was moan, complain, and belittle. I really was behaving just like a spoiled little brat. I mean, you can't blame yourself. You were attacked. I'm sure our families are going to be really worried about us. They're going to search and search, but they'll never find us. It'll be a terrible burden for them. You're wrong. How so? About it being a burden. When you lose a loved one, you cherish that, prim that person's memory. It's never a burden. You just want to do whatever you can. Whatever you can to make her proud. You just want to, so you do. What is wrong with me? Seko's mom disappeared several years ago. I know that. So am I putting her through all this grief? That's how I think the people we leave behind are going to feel. I don't know how it is for you and your family. But normal people don't work that way. Naomi? Sorry. How about we split up? We can cover more ground that way. Maybe find a clue to help us get out of here. Seems the most effective plan of attack, don't you think? Yeah, because that worked so well last time! Who says things like that? I have to apologize. I want to get home just as much as you do. Back to my dad and you and everybody else. And I'm sure as hell don't want to don't want to make them worry about me. This is all my fault. I have to apologize. But most of all, I don't want you of all people to speak to me like that. Just leave me alone. You stay away from me. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm so. I. I'm sorry too, but it's okay. If that's what you think we should do, then let's split up. I'll go this way. What the hell is wrong with me? I couldn't even manage to say the word sorry. And so, in the nexus of closed space, we're humans. 
uh, where humans are scattered in prison and killed. Two friends should have been thankful just for a small flavor of being trapped together in the forgiven place. Or quickly and easily divided. My petty obs uh, ob obstinacy? Is that how you say that? Fuck. Torseco would be uh, would come to be the biggest regret of my life as the consequences of that heated exchange were far more dire than I ever could have imagined. Naomi, why you gotta be so mean? That jerk. Huh. I think I just heard somebody call out. Follow the voice? Ooh. Follow the voice. Chat, any any suggestions here? I'm at a loss. I don't know what to do. Should I follow the voice? I think. I want to say no. Should the voice should the voice be followed? Should I walk towards my death? I'm gonna take a sip of my water. My fucking my mouth is dry as hell. I think <clears throat> I think I shouldn't follow the voice, but I think that I'm going to. That was the first time, huh? First time I ever fought with Naomi like that. Uh, from that moment, Seko and I parted ways. The fear had been harboring since I got here just kept growing stronger and stronger. I felt like something else was in my head, like I was under some alien influence. In my mental distraught state, I ran all through the building, frantically searching for Seko. I just kept calling her name over and over again. When I finally came back to my senses, I found myself standing in the third floor hallway. Seko? Is that you? Are you are you in the bath are you in the girls' bathroom? What the fuck? That wasn't even the game, that was my that was my house. Somebody just banged on the wall. The hell was that about? Seko, are you in here? Are you fucking kidding me? No way. No fucking way. Are you serious? The stall door is locked from the inside. Someone's definitely in there. Really? Why? No! Oh, she's still alive! Help her! Hold on, I'll get you down. Sorry. Uh, what to do? What do I have to do? The new surround Seiko's nest is attached directly to the ceiling and there's nothing at her feet. All attempts to help her are just strangling her further. Shit, shit, shit. There's gotta be something in here.
Can I not take the shoes? It's just making it worse. I need a platform, something for her to stand on. She had, th aren't there shoes right there? Fuck. I'll be right back. Significant amount of maggots have found their way onto Naomi's hands and shirt. Acquired filthy bucket. I'm right here. It's gonna be okay. Fill from Naomi's hands. With blank eyes, Seiko swings back and forth slowly in her noose. A life has completely drained from her face. Why would you hate yourself? You were smiling and laughing all the time. Didn't you say we'd find a way out here together? Stop this. Don't leave me all by myself. Damn. Oh no. Seiko. I, I, I basically killed that girl. I want to apologize to you for what I said. Up until just a few hours before, I was laughing and playing in school with my best friend. Now here she was, right in front of my eyes, lifeless, hanging from a noose. How could I possibly accept that as reality? I can't believe this is real. I refuse to accept it. Continued in Chapter 2. Hmm. Huh. I basically got her killed. I made her follow the voice. Oops. Oops. Is there a way to skip this? We got we got more chapters to go through. I don't think there's a way I can skip this, can I? Can I really not skip this? Holy shit. That is uh that's sure is something. Is there really no way to skip this? I'm pressing everything I can right now. Uh, Alright, looks like a short's credits. Credits look short, so it should be fine, I guess. By Team Gris Gris. A Gentleman's Errand is now available to play. Extra Chapter 1. Welcome to Heavenly Host. Alright. All right, is that under extras? A gentleman's errand. Well, let's check that out. My name is Nana, Nana Ogasaw, oh fuck, Ogasawara. I'm a seventh grader at, fuck with the, the goddamn names, Musa, <laughs> Musashigawa Girls Middle School. Oh my fucking God. And I can't help but wonder, why did this happen to us? I was just playing around with some drama club friends and some high school kids after class, when suddenly everything went white and we found ourselves trapped in here. And by we, I mean my friend Chihaya ya Yamase, Yamase? Hmm. Yamase, from homeroom and an, old f and an old friend from another class, Nara Amatoya, whom I've, who I've known practically forever. Those two were the only ones in the room with me when I came to. I'm not sure what happened to the others. I read from another class, Hikari, Hikari, Hikari Kigami, or Kig, 
Kigurini? Fuck, I can't say that. I can't say these names. <laughs> so Chihaya, Nari, and I have wandering uh have been wandering these halls aimlessly for quite some time in search of them. Chihaya was the first to brave uh, was the first to brave using the bathroom and even went alone, but came running out not a moment later, claiming to have heard a scary voice. During her flight, it seemed it seems she dropped the pouch she was carrying with her, and I've agreed to go and find it in her place. For goodness sake, Jihaya, this is clearly the boys' room. The mirror's so cloudy, you really, really can't make anything out. This mirror is perfectly clear, but your own reflection pallid face stares back at you. But what? But your own reflection. I added the word reflection. Great. Great. Good job, brain. The mirror's so cloudy, you, you really can't make anything out. Alright. Urinals. Strong stench hangs over the urinal. Yeah, I bet. Oh. Oh. Something's gonna come out of there. Aha! Found it! There's a pink plastic pouch on the ground. Pick it up. Okay. Acquired the pouch. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Don't look back. Don't look back. Nana. See how I found it here. Hand over Chihaya's pouch. Yay, thank you. You know though, when you drop something, you shouldn't you be the one to go look for it? Nari. I'm Three of us began wandering the darkened halls of the abandoned school building once again. Narasu, Kazin, uh, Kazane, Kazane, Ikari, our missing friends, we called their names all over again as we walked. But our voices just seemed to be absorbed by the darkness in front of our faces, where they melted away into nothingness. We knew that eventually those voices would give out altogether and our bodies would cease to function. It was only a matter of time. But despite that inevitability, we decided then and there that we would keep on walking for as long as I for as long as it took. We couldn't give up. We had to continue struggling against our fate, calling out into the darkness with whatever voices we had left. For as long as we lived. Wrong end. Wait, what? <laughs> I went and got the. I was supposed to talk to the ghost. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're supposed to go and get fucked. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're, you're too smart. Too smart for this game. Fuck you. Yeah, the good end is me getting my neck ripped off. Played it smart. I found a pouch. Oh no, it's a light. Let me go walk towards it. Nana? What? That was you. Don't scare me like that. Sorry. You just been in here for a while, so I, I was getting a little worried. Is everything alright? Yeah, everything's fine. Thanks, though. Great. I'll stay with Chihaya, then, and you'll finish what you're doing. But please, if you can hurry it, if you can hurry it up. Yeah, I'll hurry it up. Oh. It's a, it's a good ghost. It's a ghost. Most impressive. You found what you were looking for. Without searching my stall, people have been uh, barging in on me a lot lately, you see. Oh, so he was the one who was like, close the damn door. What are you doing? I've been getting rather uppity with the living for always shame, uh, shamelessly opening the door with reckless abandon, as your comment did a moment ago. See, I'm quite easily frightened as it happens. The only place where I feel truly safe at home is in the restroom stall. It's strange. I can't explain why. But I don't find this person scary at all, even though he's clearly a ghost. Hmm. As a spirit sways from side to side, the faint blue light radiating from his body twinkles throughout the room. Is that... is that it? Okay. You... is that all you gotta... All right, thanks. Found it, here you go. 
Yay, thank you. When you drop something, you should look for it. Don't cry, child. There's nothing scary in there. In fact, quite the opposite. There is actually a ghost, but he's friendly. And he even talked to me. You serious? Isn't that, like, dangerous? No, it's totally fine. He seemed like a really nice person. I don't suppose you want to meet him yourselves, would you? What? I think I would. After all, we've been here for several hours now, and there hasn't been anyone else to talk to in this whole time. It's really true. He's not scary at all. If I may, I have a favor to ask of you three. Some rogue fiend has, uh, what? I, for some reason, I still don't know what that word is. Absconded? Absconded? I, I don't. Hmm. With my prized gentleman set. By which I mean my hat and my glasses. If you should happen upon them in your wanderings, would you be so kind to return them to me? Sure thing! So your possessions have been stolen then? That's terrible. Wait here, we'll find them. You are too kind. Let's go look! For some hat and glasses. Looks like our normal party of adventurers has accepted a quest. Let's give it everything we got. Radio! This is ridiculous. Find the gentleman's glasses. Nothing can stop us now. Can't go this way? Okay. Alright, that's fine. Alright, that's locked. There's no guts here, so that means one of these people are gonna die. Strange force seems to be repelling you and you cannot progress beyond this point. Well, let's stay away from that. That will most assuredly get me killed. Okay, let's check in the girl's room. There's a message scribbled on the wall. Try to stall to the right. One more over. One more over. Too far, go back one. There's a pair of sunglasses in the stall with a star-shaped lens. There's a mess scribbled on the wall. Huh. I, I left them because I don't think that would be gentlemen's glasses. Come on over. Over. Too far, go back one. Okay. Just wanted to see if like a different pair of glasses would appear. But I I guess this is what I do. With star-shaped lenses, uh, I guess I'll take them. Superstar sunglasses. I think it would be really hard to look good in these. Mr. Ghost, I found some glasses. I'm, I'm, I highly doubt they're yours, but... Disgusted sigh. The spirit sticks out his lower lip and shook his head quite feverishly. Feverishly or some bullshit. Seems he doesn't care much for them. I guess they're not his after all, so unsurprisingly. Hmm. Girls, boys, keep it clean. That's a bad spirit. That is a bad spirit. Leave that spirit alone. Guess I'll talk to it. Why not? Looking for something? I'm sure you won't find it downstairs anywhere. Fuck you! It is downstairs.
The guy to the west is a liar. You must have believe you mustn't believe a word he says. The guy to the west is a liar. What? The guy to the south is a liar. You mustn't believe a word he says. To the south. Someone's gonna get splatted on that wall. Eh, fuck you guys. Let me through, damn it. To the south. Oh, there's no force over here no more. <clears throat> The two guys to the north of me are both telling the truth. You should believe everything they say. And you should also return to the third floor right away without exploring anywhere else beforehand. Bullshit. Door's locked. Fuck you. There's a pair of distinguished looking glasses sitting on the banister to take them. Uh-huh. I'll do just that. Distinguished looking. My legs really hurt, Nana. Oh my, Chihaya, I think you need to rest for a bit. That's too much for me. Memory's locked, so I can't. I can't rest. The hell you want? The countdown has begun. You better hurry. Hurry, scurry. Fuck you. Like, imagine, imagine dying and still being an asshole after death. Like, come on. Like, what's the point? You're an asshole. Find what you're looking for. Fuck you. Offer distinguished glasses to the spirit. You have my eternal gratitude. I've always felt that these glasses existed in the world solely to be worn by me. Oh, how I've missed them. They look really good on you. I assume they do anyways. It's hard to tell since he's basically just a blue glow. I guess all that's left now is to find your hat, right? You're too kind. Find the gentleman's hat. I shall do just that. Oh, what the hell? Oh! That fucking, that smarts. I'm just, oh. Wow, you guys are assholes. The item you seek is downstairs. Need help finding it? Try talking to the moving spirits. Don't talk to the moving spirits. They're assholes. Alright. Well, what about you? Countdown has begun. Go fuck yourself. Don't talk to any moving spirits. Strange force seems to be repelling you. You cannot progress beyond this point. Okay. Talk to the moving spirits. They they glow, they glow super brightly. Just I started on the bottom right does not have the item you want. Uh, started on the bottom right. Go 
Okay. Maybe I can force him to come back out. So it would be you. Stop moving, damn it. No touch the pretty key. It's my precious. It's my precious. My precious. The spirit is holding a key marked infirmary. Yank it from him? Give me that shit. Bitch. Red spirit are assholes. Yeah, nothing new from you. Infirmary door is locked. Use the infirmary key? Uh-huh. There we go. Oh, shit. Okay. Old-fashioned heater, unfortunately. Yeah. Ah, it's a hat. There's a felt on the hat on the ground. Seems to radiate the air of luxury and refinement. Take it? Sure, why not? Acquired the felt hat. Are you okay? Chihaya? I'm tired. I hate this. I want to go home. Chihaya, it's okay. We'll get out of here. I know we will. I can't even say that. What possible reason could you have for believing that we'll ever be able to leave this place? Chihaya? Are you saying I can hold you responsible if we never get home again? Chihaya, that's enough. I've heard it all of, I heard about all I can- Fuck. <laughs> I heard- I've had all about- I can't fucking speak or read today. I've had about all I can take from your whining. You're not in the safe. Uh, you're not in the safety of our own familiar little world anymore. People aren't going to bend over backwards to spare your feelings here. We're fighting for survival. It's every girl for herself. So don't think for a minute that we're going to stop and console you every time you have to be the damsel in distress. Uh, you have a damsel in distress moment, it's just because we're your friends. Well, that didn't that didn't uh, work as as planned. Go ahead and cry. See if I care. Nari, that was totally uncalled for. Not everybody's as strong-willed as you, you know. You really shouldn't walk off on your own. Fine, do whatever the hell you want. Oh, look how spiffy he is. You have, you have my thanks once again. I've always cherished this hat, you see. I was specially selected for uh, by Tanaka, one of my most beloved subordinates. I'm so glad we were able to find it. It seems like it means a lot to you, and it just feels really good to help someone in need. Does it? Yeah. You're truly be uh, uh, beloved, uh, beloved souls. My eternal gratitude is yours. He was at such clear eyes and pure hearts. If I still lived, I would use the rest of my days to offer you protection and guidance. I shan't lose these items again, and I should hope that you not lose your generosity you've shown, for this place is, qu is quickly and easily to crush the spirit. In times like this, especially, it is important that you not succumb to despair, nor forsake your true nature. Alright, how's it going? How's it going there? How, how do I pronounce your name? Is it Minchi? Is it is it Minch? Sorry, I gotta take a drink of my water. I'm fucking like my my mouth is dying here. It's dry as hell. Rather, you should scoff in despair, route face, and embrace who you are. Love yourself. So it's pronounced Minch. Okay. Make sure I get that right. The numbers throw me off. But now I must have been a dude. A dude. Yeah, a dude. 
not Mitch. Minch? Mit? Mm. How, like, like, uh, can you type it out, like, phonetically? Is it, is it Min? Fuck. My, my tongue won't do it. Minch? Min, min, minch? Minch? Fuck. You're killing me here. For my home is called to me. I pray that you three as well will find your way back to your own homes in due time. Farewell! He, it, he loves me? He's still in the stall. I have no means of being exercised from this place, of course, so this is as close to home as I can find. Minch. 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 It, it's so, it doesn't roll off the tongue for me. I'm gonna fucking die here. You're killing me. You're killing me. I'm gonna bite my tongue and bleed out. And, oh. Ah, be it ever so humble. Oh, okay. So, so we good girls? Are, are we okay? He's a pretty fun person. Alright, so are we, are we leaving? Although still apprehensive about our surroundings, we felt slightly better at having done a good deed and held our... Thanks for the follow, fucking... I have, I have like, I have my setup blocking my own stream because I'm keeping it, keeping an eye on it and make sure they're all running. Um, <clears throat> although still appre... Oh yeah, I read that shit. From there, we began wandering in the darkened halls of the abandoned school building once again. Narasu, Kazune... Hikari, our, mis our missing friends, we called their names over and over again as we walked. But our voices just seemed to be absorbed by the darkness in front, in front of our faces, where they melted away into nothingness. We knew that eventually those voices would give out altogether and our bodies would cease to function. It was only a matter of time. But despite that inevitability, we decided then and there that we would keep on walking for as long as it took. We couldn't give up. We had to continue struggling against our fate. Call out into the darkness with whatever voices we had. <laughs> for our, for as long as we lived. Is that the good end? Okay. Well, that that was the same. That was the same. That was the same ending as the bad end. The only difference is I didn't go on a quest. This game bullshitting me. A place to call home. Okay. Well. Guess it's time to start chapter two. Previous on chapter one, fucking Seiko killed herself, or seemingly killed herself, as she followed a voice into the darkness. View the chapter two opening? Sure, why not? I see no reason why I wouldn't. Phew, that should just about do it. I hate being in charge of the gym equipment. All because of that stupid co-ed meeting in two days. Why can't the boys' class rep take care of the grunt work? Yeah. Freaking Kir- 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 Kir fuck. Kishinuma? Doesn't he know what a delicate flower I am? Most I've ever had to lift before was chopsticks, and he expected me to lug around a damn per- Pommel- Pommel horse? Pommel? Fuck. I don't know how to pronounce that. Naomi, that's one pretty sight. Can you stop staring at my ass? Huh? What is that booty you got? It's just something like really, really, really wrong with you. What? Yours is way cuter. What the fuck game am I playing? Mine's all plump like a duck's. That, that's the point. What are you saying? You've got what they call children bearing hips for a good thing. It means when you get older, you can pump out all the babies you want with the greatest of ease. That... Is that a good thing? I think at that point you would need a hobby. I'm actually kind of happy to hear you say that. <laughs> you do have a certain mother motherly quality to you, Naomi. It's no wonder you're good with kids. But of course, I'm hoping to raise four children one day. Really? Four? Really? I don't know anyone who went in with a mindset of four. Maybe two? Three? Possibly four? You're crazy. My grandmother had like 13 kids. 
she really like I love my grandmother. She she really needed a hobby though. <laughs> Sounds like you'll be making some lucky guy uh guy real happy. You sure? I don't think the guy would be so happy if you're popping out more distractions. Hmm. What's with the ominous music? Oh yeah, yeah, she killed herself. Uh-huh. Well, supposedly killed herself. No. That's a loud ass scream. She got some strong ass lungs. Chapter 2 Life Before Death. The Empire Strikes Back. Wasn't that Nakashima's voice? And she was screaming. I swear this teacher looks straight up like Trombon. What do I do? I can't let anything happen to my students. Well, too late for that. <laughs> She's fucking dead. Oh, hey, you guys are cool and alive. Is she okay? Is she sick? Shinozaki, it's all right. Please calm down. But you heard it too, outside, her voice. I did. I think she's hyperventilating. I need to try and calm her breathing before she passes out. It probably wasn't a real voice. I'm sure it just sounded like one. Maybe it was the building settling. I'll go check it out, though, and see if I can figure out what, what it was for sure. You two stay right here, okay? Because splitting up is always a great option. You, you saw how that worked out great the past two times we did it. I'm really lucky that I'm playing this game with headphones because I swear to God if I wasn't, somebody would just be like, What the fuck are you watching in there? Shinozaki. It's okay, Teach. I'll keep an eye on Shinozaki. Okay. Or better yet, how about I go take a look and you wait here? Not a chance, until I can verify everyone's safety. Excuse me, Teach. You're only 23 years old. These kids are like... These kids are just four years younger than you. It doesn't matter who takes point. Fucking... You save yourself at this point. I want to keep you two out of harm's way. Well, okay, I guess. Be careful, though. No. Look, she'll be fine. Jeez. Jeez, what's your problem? It's only like a scary place with like blood and guts and ghosts and shit. I'm counting on you, Kishinuma. I'll be back in no time. No problem. Famous last words ever, no, ever spoken. But I'm actually scared. My legs are even shaking. I have no idea what's going on. My head's spinning. I can't make sense of anything. My chest hurts like my heart is encased in ice. And I can't shake this dizziness or this nausea. But when I think about the possibility of something horrible happening to my dear students that I've only... She's only been teaching for like a year. This is like her first year. You're 23. Calm down. Maybe she was like 29, I, I would get it a little bit more, but she's 23, you just started. Don't, don't risk your life for your students just yet. I can feel a newfound energy welling up from within me. I must Mamoru the children. I feel like, if nothing else, I can at least play the part of a level-headed adult. But you're not. You're only four years apart from the kids, maybe five. Valor, thy name is Education. Thy name is bullshit. Teacher walking around in heels. Oh shit, I'm supposed to be reading this stuff on the wall. Return home immediately. Those who remain here will go hungry and die of starvation. Well, no duh. That reminds me. Poor Mon is all alone. He must be he must be one hungry kitty kitty by now. Why did I stutter to say the word kitty? God. What's wrong with me? What's in here? 
A disturbingly large amount of human hair is cramped into the cabin and filled each shelf overflowing. But closely, there's an excessive number of bugs scrambled all over. The sight alone is enough to make your skin crawl. Okay. That, that's not nice. Breaking news, serial kidnappings and a murder- Okay, I read this already. And the other... Each of the corpses had tongue severed. Yeah. I read this already in the other chapter. I heard something about that once before. But I never realized just how horrific an accident it, it really was. That's not... That's not normal. I didn't open this door. It's locked. Okay, so can't go that way. Wasn't this blocked before? By like, um... By like some... Some type of dresser or something? Oh no, that's the other room. What's this? No teachers allowed on the third floor. Yikes. Okay. Hmm. It's a key, isn't it? The label on the key reads 3A. Take it? Sure, why not? Don't see any reason why it wouldn't help out. Okay. Onward to class 3A. So no teachers are allowed on third floor. I will try my best to stay clear from that. Because that might just lead to her death. Well, if it isn't the teacher, are you all by yourself? I watched enough hentai to know what happens after that. Decided to stop shaking and shivering with the others two back with the other two back in 1A, did you? I have you know I heard one of my students screaming and have set out to find her. I see, relatively, as I keep telling people, that won't be possible. The school exists in a nexus where multiple dimensions overlap. It's but a sing a single closed space in a sea of closed spaces. In other words, even though you may be in the same school as your screaming student, you and she occupy different dimensions. Which means you two can never meet. If one of you should die, perhaps your body or your spirit may move from one space to another. Or, maybe you can find some means to traverse the planes freely as they do. Consider this fair warning. Even if you should find the exact spot from which your student screams and, uh, emanated, she herself may not be there, and if she isn't, there's not a thing you can do about it. But I heard her voice. It is true that other children have been brought here quite recently, children who by all appearances are indeed your students. But as I suggest, time and space do not behave as you assume here. They are fragmented. You say you heard a scream. That scream had taken place only a few minutes ago. Or perhaps it occurred in another space many hours previous. It may even have been echoed from the future. Who's, who's to say? Hmm. With this phenomenon as it is, it's entirely possible for two closed spaces to have some small influence on one another, even when out of sync. Wait a minute. So, I understand that we occupy different dimensions, but if we occupy different times as well, is there a possibility if we do find a way to traverse freely through it, we can possibly, we can possibly go into the past and save somebody from dying? I just, I think I just broke the rules of this goddamn universe. It doesn't matter. I can't just ignore that agonizing scream and go with my merry way. Step aside. Fuck out the way. Oh! Step aside. Why don't you fuck off, you damned corporal? Corporeal? My bad, not corporal. Corporeal. An earthquake? Uh... Oh! Fuck! That's not good. In all the world, the most vile and trustworthy individuals of them all are you school teachers. All you care about is your own well-being. You're not worried about your students. You're just worried about being held responsible if something should happen to them. This really hurts. Yeah, no duh. You're all the same. Every last one of you. And I won't be taken in by your lies anymore. Taken in? When you see a problem among your kids, you just keep your distance because you sure wouldn't want to get involved. Have to keep up appearances, right? You just pick out the problem children and chip away at them little by little until they either drop out or get expelled. You're not disciplining them. You're just raging at them. That's not... 
I've never met a teacher who actually cared about her students, not once. You, you're wrong. Ah, oh, fuck! My back, my spine, it's being crushed. All of your students are destined to starve to death in this godforsaken halls. If they don't succumb to desperation and kill themselves first. There's no other possible outcome. They're all dying meaningless deaths, just like I did. And they sure won't be thinking about you when they take their final breaths. Ow. My back is being crushed. Any last words, bitch? I'll tell them your I'll tell them to your students as I end their miserable lives. My last words? Go fuck yourself. Spare. Hmm. Come again? Spare my students. What was that? Please, I don't care what happens to me. Just please spare their lives. They're not your children. You're not their mother. Or are you really still pretending to care about them? Filthy liar. Did you know when you die in this accursed place, you experience the pain you felt at the moment of your death for all eternity? And I'm going to crush you to dust. The pain must be unbearable, unimaginable. And you're going to feel that pain every moment of every day forevermore. Ask me to spare you? Is that what you really want, isn't it? Be honest with me, and I'll consider sparing your life. Spare my students. Don't you harm hair on their heads, you hear me? Tch, you're just a stubborn little bitch. Oh god, really? No one's coming to save me? Fuck! This is excruciating. I think my rib cage is broken. Feels like someone's pushing this cabinet down on top of me with superhuman force. I'm losing consciousness. <laughs> Does it hurt? Aw, poor baby. Your corpse will look just like a dead frog on the side of the road. Everybody. Live. Oh wow, she's just dead. I love you all. Wow, that was fast. Meanwhile. Wow, she got wiped out real fast. Jesus. Oh, another earthquake. This is why I say, she's like, she's like, I'll go alone, it'll be fine. Uh-huh, because that worked out. Three for three, damn it. I think it's over. What's wrong? I just got a really bad feeling. We gotta search for Miss Sh Shishido. What if she comes back while we're gone and we miss each other along the way? We're going. All right, all right. But if we don't have any luck finding her, let's just make sure we come back to this room, okay? How about we leave her a note, Shinozaki? Do you have anything I could write with? I've got my pen. But no paper, huh? Well, there's always the teacher's desk. Miss you, we've gone to find you. If we pass each other and you see this message, wait right here, we'll be back. How's that? Blunt, and kind of sloppy. It's your fault we have to leave her a message at all, you know. But she might be in trouble. Okay, okay. Just don't cry, we'll find her. Yeah, that's right, I'm taking the lead. This door is nailed shut. Alright, never mind, fuck that door. Let's go look for the teach, shall we? Oh. Huh. She went in this room, right? Teach? You in here? Oh. Oh no. 
door seems asphyxiated to the wall like a model that can't be opened. It's cold in here. Not to mention dark and scary. Hey, Shinazaki. Do you have any more of those candles? Like the one you lit during the ghost story? I do. How about we light one up and take a quick breather? They'll give off some heat, right? Sure. This candle of mine really is kind of warm. Yeah, it is. That's not normal. Oh, they have separate save files? Okay. That's interesting. Okay, this is the same. Hmm. Can't... can't go this way. What the? Looks like a dead end. Did this happen during the last earthquake? Mishishido, where are you? I'm really worried. Hope she's not in there. I don't remember if she's in there or not, actually. Well, before I head upstairs, because that's open now... Let's see... Oh, there's a bucket. There's a strange yellow fluid con congealing inside the rusted bucket. Okay. What's up? I just had a brainstorm. Fucking brain blast! Class Rev Shinozaki, former Scary Time Candle. Wait, former. Famous Scary Time Candle. What am I saying former for? There's not a student in 2 9 who isn't intimately familiar with them, right? You kidding? There's not a student in our grade who hasn't seen them at once. Well, at least once. Fuck, why did I stutter? People call you the whore rep of, of Kisaragi for a reason. So how about... You light some candles like this all throughout the school building. Oh, I see. Okay. So, in Chapter 2, whatever's happening here takes place in the future from Chapter 1. And the, the scream that we heard is taking place in the past? All right. There'll be like a signal flare for Mochita and the others. Let them know that you and me and Miss Shishido are all here with them, safe and sound. Yeah, I guess. Seems more like she's just trying to reassure, her, reassure herself that she's okay. But if it makes her feel better... Come on, let's go. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. So this event is on a separate timeline in the future from what's happening from Chapter 1. Living friends who are able to retain their sanity and reason will be your final ray of hope. Alright, sounds important. Oh, shit! These are human bones? Oh god. Oh god, are you, are you okay? Are you okay, Shinozaki? I'll be fine. I'm just hyperventilating a little. Well, keep it together, girl. Come on, we gotta find Miss Shinozaki. Yeah. Where the hell is Satoshi? If we were here, I bet Shinozaki would be a whole lot calmer. What are you standing around for? Let's get out of here. Alright. Judging by the size, these appear to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Closer inspection reveals 
a high school ID name tag. Byakura. Um, not Byakuya, just Byak Byakuran? Shit. The end throws me off. Senior high school class, 2 4. Oh, that's the name of the, that's the, name of the school. Okay. Kaishimata. Uh, did you hear that? We have to get away from here. Okay. We have to see the rest, though. Uh, Tomohiro. Alright. These name tags are important. Masato. Ikari. Ah, uh, damn. Ikari's from, uh... Ikari's one of the missing people from, uh, that... From the, uh, extra profile that I played. Okay. There's a hastily written note on the ground. His writers seem to have struggled with it, as the letter is inconsistent and difficult to read. Why, sister? It hurts. It hurts. After I die, the pain will continue forever. No. What the fuck? Sis, you lied to me. You're gonna leave me behind, aren't you? I will never forgive you. Oh. Now this red flame is glowing, and usually those guys are really bad. I really shouldn't talk to him. I hate you, sister. It hurts. Okay. So his sister killed him. Betrayed him. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, I'll read the note first. Victim's memory, one out of five. I ate my friend today. What the fuck? What else was I supposed to do? I was starving. We both were. And there's no food here, so we decided together that one of us should try to live just a little bit longer. If I ever get home, I suppose I'll tell all the people waiting for us what happened. We left it all up to a game of rock, paper, scissors. The loser eats winner. And I lost. I felt her blood going down my throat. Quenching my thirst, her meat was su was supple and satisfying. But that blood and that meat was once my friend. Up until just a few hours before, I had been talking with her. As I feasted, I just kept thinking, this food used to be a person. Before I tore it apart, it all worked together to sustain a life. And every time I thought about that, I just started crying, and I couldn't stop. I wanted some part of her to be with me even after she died, so I decided to keep one of her eyeballs. And I thought maybe I should write all this down to help preserve some small portion of my sanity. Their decaying skeleton remains here, about the size of a middle school student. They're in process of slowly drying and withering, creating an almost uh, overpowering stench throughout the hallway. Any clothing that, that deceased, <clears throat> any clothing that the deceit was wearing is long gone. So there are no remains. There are no means of readily identifying gender on site. Damn. Whoa! What the hell kind of room is this? It's not like any classroom I've ever seen. I'm more worried about the soundtrack. Are you okay, Ishinozaki? My head is splitting. Are you okay? shouldn't be in here. We really shouldn't be in here. It looks like there's something in here, though, on the back. I- I wanna- I wanna heed her warning and leave. Did that change anything? Or do we have to run back in? Guess we gotta run back in, huh? 
I don't like the soundtrack that's going on right now. What the hell? Stay back! Don't scare me like that! You absolutely positively must not look into his eyes, okay? Alright, I'll... But it's blue! Usually the blue ones help you out. The music stopped. I'll listen to her. Rusted bloody soap nailed. Uh, puller is sitting on top of the desk. Take it. No. <sighs> Fuck, I'm gonna do it. Hmm. Not gonna lie, that scared me. Damn it, I looked, and now I can't look away. What the hell's up with his eyes? What's going on? It's pitch black. Miss Yui? Satoshi? Is anyone there? Where... Where the hell am I? Was I dreaming or something? I can't move. Feels like walls are around me. Am I in a hole or something? Am I dying? Did I kill myself? What the? Who's... Dirt and gravel from above. Stop! The hell? I'm alive down here! You planning on suffocating me? My mouth is getting totally filled up. I can't breathe. Am I going to die like this? Why? Who would? This can't be happening. This isn't funny. Stop it. My eyes are really hurting. again. Okay. Damn. Should have listened to her. It's just one of those things. It's like the game told me, hey, blue spirits are nice, red ones are bad. And she's just freaking out the whole time, right? So I'm like, maybe she's wrong. And then you head over to something. It's like, here's a, lust here's a bloody rusty nail. Want to pick that up? It's like, no, it seems like that would kill me. Well, now I know not to look at it in his eyes. So just don't look in its direction. Not over there. Oh, we didn't go upstairs before. I want to head back downstairs and, and do that. Guess I'll pick up the nail then. Right. I'll just I'll just skip all this since we read it. All right, I'll save it here. Why not? So I don't have to do that scene no more if I fuck up. This stuff, and up here were the skeletons. I'm gonna look at the skeletons again because I'm not sure if you unlock the extras by, um, by like grabbing the name tags or if you just get them. Okay, she's fine. She's fine. She's fine. Just 
Just make sure I get those name tags. Huh. Oh, I guess the name tags got saved when I read them, so I don't have to read them again. Because the notification isn't appearing on top of the screen. Alright. So it was in here. Just don't look at the dude's eyes. I thought she was freaking out. But blue spirits can be bad. I guess the blue spirit only counts like the flames. Like the little flames that are there. So as long as I don't look at him in the eyes. Now there's that thing there. I'm not sure picking up this nail. First of all, I'm not even sure what that thing is. So I'm not sure picking up this nail would like make a um trap trigger or something. Yes, I'll take it. Nail puller. Oh, it's a nail puller. So, I want to make sure I'm not in his line of sight. If I were to walk up here, would I be looking at him? Because doing this... Okay, there we go. There we go. Good. Alright, well, I'm out of here. Didn't look at him in his eyes. Gonna move on with my life. What's over here? Did I check this out already? I think I did, right? Yeah, it was the dude and his sister. Alright. Can't, can't do nothing with this door. Alright, cool. I'm gonna head back upstairs, run towards the third floor, see what awaits me there. What are you doing? What is it? Are your eyes okay? Uh. What the fuck? Shinozaki, where are you going? What the hell was that all about? Okay. I should chase after her. Oh, what is this grudge shit? Are you okay? Today's my daughter's birthday. She's turning seven. We're going out together to celebrate. Each time you turn around, stop for a moment and ask yourself, is the world behind you, your back still there? Wait, is the world behind your back still there? Shinozaki, hey. Snap out of it. Hmm? Kishinuma? What's wrong? You were saying some pretty weird stuff just now. Was she not aware? Must be the pressure. Her nerves are probably shot all hell by now. Oh, never mind. Probably just my imagination. Don't worry about it. Okay. What's this about? The front entrance way might be... Uh, might, might as well be painted on. The hell? That was my dog. He just packed up. Uh, it's neither open, nor given any hints that it will ever open. Okay. Well... Oh! Let us not do that! That's the ghost from before. It's left the classroom? Don't. Don't let it touch you. Oh, I, I promise. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Where is it? How the f... How am I supposed to get out of here? I said don't let it touch me, but... 
Okay, so it's just roaming around, huh? Shh, okay. Just gotta juke the ever living shit out the ghost, huh? Oh, I can't look in its direction either! Damn it! Oh no, that was that was the thing on the floor. Okay. Are you kidding me? Alright, well, shit. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. We're all safe and sound. Fuck that guy. He's gonna chase me the whole entire time? What's up here? If you acquired any name tags from the corpse in this school, please bring them to me. I'll add them to my collection, custodian. Fuck! What was that? Ouch. Can I not? Yep. That that's just a that's just a no-go. The crew picture seemed drawn by a ch by a child doors one of the shelves. Four smiling children are surrounding an adult and merely stabbing him to death. Oh shit. How unsettling. Rows of dead bugs are neatly arranged on each shelf. Damn it. So where am I supposed to go? Hmm. I don't think there's anything in here. Can't go this way. That's where the teacher died. I want to try heading in that room upstairs again. Because, I mean, that's the only place I can think of right now. Nope, that's just, uh, impassable. What about over here? Nope, a whole lot of nothing. Well, I gotta use this nail for something. Looks like she hasn't come back yet. Can't believe she's still out there looking for Nishiyama. I mean... Whatever the fuck her name is, Nakashima. Oh, the nail puller. Here we go. I didn't know I used it for this. There's a piece of scrap paper pinned to the wall. You notice dark spots dotted, uh, no dark spots dotting the page and realize they're tear stains. Those who choose to ignore the darkness that dwells in the hearts of man may be stuck forever in a loop. For in this world, those who are, those are some truths and simple fuck <laughs> uh, there are some truths that simply must be known no matter how disturbing but curiosity can be deadly and other truths are best left untold beware the message of the dead for there be curses among them curses that can crush even the strongest wills demolish all semblance of reason if you wish to protect your sanity take heed do not let your curiosity get the better of you do not read the victim's memoirs to their conclusion. Now you tell me, because that's what I've been doing. Alright. Appears to be a controlling mechanism for some sort of elaborate pulley system rigged by a network of fine, virtual, uh, virtually transparent threads. Here's a lever jutting out of the side. Pull it? Sure. Okay, that's weird. So I'm gonna have to work my way back downstairs past the ghost. 
Sounds like a plan. Just don't know where the ghost is gonna gonna be, so... Which way do I go? Was it this way? No, it's not that way. It's this way. Since so I'm gonna have to deal with that ghost again. All right. Now the ghost was down here last time. I'm not sure if he's back in that room. Fuck off, ghost. So don't read how the victims died. To save my sanity. <clears throat> so is the other guy still in here, or... No. Okay. Appears to be a control mechanism. Pull the lever. Okay. So I'm gonna have to kite around the ghost now. Son of a bitch! How? How? How even? How am I supposed to... Damn it! Okay. Yeah, 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 I'm dead. How do I skip this? I don't know how to, like, fast-forward past this. The game doesn't really tell you the controls, so... Just smashing through. Yep, being buried alive. I'm dead. How the hell am I supposed to get around that ghost? Just how in the hell? All right. Okay. It was this one, right? I think it was this one. Excuse me, sir. Don't mind me. Just moseying on through. Okay. So let me exp let me inspect this room on what I can do. Cause he he shows up here, so I can't possibly run past him fast enough. I don't think so. And what the hell am I supposed to- am I like- I can't even kite around him, cause he'll turn instantly, like, can't- Hmm. Hmm. You know what, I'm just- I'm gonna try and book it, right? If I can book it. Like... How? I mean, he's slow, but I don't think I can be, like, that close to him, because I'm pretty sure he can just turn like that and get me. One, two... And this. I can't, like, walk around the table, so I can't use that as a blocking point. I'm gonna try and book it out. Like, maybe if I'm fast enough, I can just get out of here, right? Like, if I'm fast enough, I can just go past him. Nope, that's not happening. Alright. So... It's pretty slow. Damn it. 
Damn it. I fucked that one up. If I was a little bit more to the right. Because maybe I can possibly just, like, get him. You know? I'll try one more time. And then if I can't do it, I'll just look it up. Because I don't want to have a, I don't want to have a repeat of earlier when I was fucking not knowing what the hell I was doing. You didn't you didn't look at the door the correct way, so the event didn't play out. gonna try one more time and if I die again I will just look it up there's no shame admitting that you're a failure we all can't be winners all the time you know although I would love to be excuse me sir coming through don't mind me he's going to fuck with the pulley system Can I not use this to my advantage? Nope. Alright. Cause he's alright, so he starts here, so maybe maybe when he's just turning slowly I can run past him. I highly doubt it, but But it's worth a shot, right? It's worth a shot. Okay. So he walks. Turn, motherfucker. Yeah! Juke the shit out of you. I'm out of here. Bitch. You ain't got no skills. You ain't got no class. I'm out of here. You can't stop me. Alright, what does this say? <clears throat> Curse right left behind by those who lost. All reason must be read in the proper order. If one part is skipped, the next will never appear. If you insist on reading such dangerous words too, I pray you have a strong will and a sturdy mind. Oh, uh, God, do I have to? It's a dead end. Oh, wait, no, it's not. <laughs> thought the ghost played me for a moment. Shinozaki, put up a candle. What's wrong? You need to stop for a minute? No, I just thought it seemed like a good spot for another candle. You're damn right! No objections, I assume. Uh-uh. Nope, not here. Go ahead. Shinozaki, I'm, I'm starting to fall in love with you. I think you're my favorite. You're my favorite, Shinazaki. I love you. The infirmary? I remember this place. It fucked me up pretty badly. An old fashioned space heater, fortunately. It's full of ash. Yeah. Hmm, there's a hole here. Where these holes weren't here before, I don't remember. No, they were. Vast quantities of medicine. Wait, what? Lined up on each other's cells. But no alcohol. There's an open journal, a framed picture on the desk. The journal seems a lot decorative, as if it were a plastic model built- okay. Pair of scissors. Alright. Let's get out of here. So this is open. Alright, so now at this point I assume that they... I assume that they have had the... Yeah, she must have been attacked here. Naomi must have been attacked because the candle wasn't here before. So that just happened. And they just split... They just split up? Wait, no. Of course that all happened because it takes place in the future. What am I saying? 
That takes place in the future, but we're in the past. Okay. Yeah, and they were here. Definitely here because they put this here. Alright, um... Ooh, can't go this way. I want to look at it, but I shouldn't. It said don't read the notes left behind, right? So I'll look at the ID tags. Ryosuke. Did you hear a voice just now? Yeah, I heard it. I wonder what happened to him. I get the feeling he was surprised. I think he died quickly and suddenly. So someone with that name, I forgot the name he said, but that person must be going around killing people. Okay. Keep him clean. Um, I guess I'll head to the boys first. Feels weird being in a boy's room. Yeah, it does. Yep, I expected it. Hey, did you just hear that crazy voice? I didn't hear anything. But we're definitely not alone in here. We should leave this room right now. I'm going to listen to you. Because last time I didn't listen to you, I died. So let's go. Don't question me. What? What's this? Is that a... Seems stained. But with what? Almost looks like a person. This is where... Okay, so this is where uh, Seiko died. Somebody died here. I can hear her voice. But what about Naomi? Boy. What's wrong? Whoa. Hey, don't run away. Damn it all. What the hell's going on around here? Don't go off on your own. Are you crazy? You're right, Shinozaki. Really freaking me out. Shinozaki. Fuck you. Fight it, damn it. Ow. The hell that really hurt. What are you talking about? <laughs> Don't leave her. What are you doing? What the hell do you want? Poor girl, she lost her mind and she'll never get it back. Possession is a frightful thing to have your thoughts pushed deep down into the pits of your soul and someone else take their place. Fuck you, as if I'm gonna leave her. She has my save points. Snap out of it. As if transfixed with an unnatural wide sm wild sm uh, wide smile stint stretch the color. I can't read. Damn it. She's creepy. 
Are you gonna keep hitting me? I'll get I'll get some help or something for you. Hey, ghost! Damn it! Some water or something. There's a dark stain on the floor, shape of a person's body. Looks like there's someone's here. It's really giving me creeps. What the hell? Stall's pitch black inside. Okay. Shinazaki. Huh? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Why is this happening to us? It's all this smoke I see. Get the hell out the stall right this instant. You smoking in school? Hitting the tobacco again, are we? In that, uh, wacky tobacco? Uh, no, sir. Didn't I warn you what will happen if I caught you smoking again? Expulsion, that's what. I'm sorry. You're a real problem, child, you know that? Why don't you ever come to school in the first place? Disowned by your parents, living on your own, got no friends. Damn, what is he crushing his spirits for? <laughs> he said, I ain't even got no friends. How's it feel to be a bitch? Never goes to class. Just because you hate school doesn't give you the right to throw fits and raise the ruckus all the time, mister. You're clearly not having any fun here, right? So why don't you just drop out? I really don't get it. It's not like you're trying to get into college with your home life as it is. The thought probably hasn't even crossed your mind. Uh-huh. Wish I can ask your parents what they think of having a good-for-nothing kid like you in the family. But they never once show their faces around here. Not since the very first parent-teacher conference we ever held. Wonder if they're being wonder if they'd be embarrassed. <laughs> My parents are not exactly proud of me, shall we say. Eh? That's not what I mean. I'm thinking of the big picture here. They're clearly just not good parents. If I had kids of my own, you better believe I wouldn't be half as lax with them as your obvi as yours obviously are with you. The problem is people are having kids when they were too young. Before they became proper adults, they're popping out babies on their own. And bad parents raise bad kids. That's why there's so many brats like you in the world. He's right about one thing. There's no reason for me to stay in this school. It really is pointless. I should just beat the crap out of this jackass, then drop out. People think as long as they pay school tacits or tuition, they're good mommies and daddies. Well, newsflash, they're not. Hmm? What's with that look? I never hit a teacher before. Oh well, first time for everything. Well, if it isn't the class rep, what's up? The vice principal is looking for you. You need it back in the staff's room. Gotcha. Thanks. Shinozaki, you got great eyes, you know that? What a fucking creep! Always so clear and focused. We instructors like your kind best of all. Instructors? Replace that with a different word. You ever have a problem? You come talk to me about it, okay? <laughs> That guy's the worst. Thanks. You're not really any better. Huh? You were thinking about hitting him just now, weren't you? What a sad face it would be to get kicked out of school. Oh, wait, what? Face? <laughs> what a sad fate it would be to get kicked out of school over a pathetic excuse for a teacher like him. And you regret it later. You know you would. No matter how much of a pain in the ass it may be. 
and no matter how you think it will turn out in the end. Just stay in school, bite your tongue, and make it to graduation. Honestly. Why are you crying? Huh? Sorry. Whenever I give an impassioned speech like that, I always find myself tearing up a little. You're Kishinuma from class 1-5, right? 1-5? Not 1-5, what is it? L-5? Yeah. Or I-5? I'm Shinozaki from class I-3. I-3? L-3? I'm not sure which one this is. I or L? I'm gonna assume it's a, it's a I. Because it's a capital, right? Yeah. Sorry to butt in like that. But it's not. Is it a 1? Because there's a capital I right there. I guess it's 1-3 then. Shit. Huh. Uh, don't worry about it. Later. Hey. When you told them the vice principal was calling. Oh, I was lying, of course. <laughs> I never actually thanked her for what she did that day, for crying on my behalf. And I swore to myself as soon as I realized we were trapped here, that I protect her no matter what happens. Must be a test to see if I really meant that no matter what happens part. Shinozaki. Please come back to me. Shinozaki. We're gonna be fine all but we're gonna find all our classmates and get out of this horrible place, okay? There's no reason. No reason for you to stay like this. So Warren. Are you gonna stab me? Kishinuma? Where? What? Shinozaki? Yeah. Yeah, I knew that would happen. Ow. Is it you? You're back? Huh? What? What are you? So, what you're saying... Yeah, so far all the courts we found in here have been people we never met before. But that stain was left behind by someone really close to us. Someone whose mind was completely filled with the pain and agony of death. Hmm. And the next thing I knew, I was in your arms. And you were squeezing the life out of me. Couldn't she just say hugging? Someone close to us, huh? I really hope that's just this once. Your intuition is wrong. But I could feel all her pain. Oh, I was freezing cold, except my throat was so hot, and it felt like it was on fire. And then I voided my bowels, and everything went dark. No matter how hard I struggled, my arms and my legs just wouldn't move. I wanted to yell out, help me, but I had no voice. I was scared, and the pain was so excruciating. Calm down, Shinozaki. That wasn't you. You're still alive. I know. Well, we searched the whole building. Miss Yui really is nowhere to be found. Maybe we should head back to the classroom? Yeah, that's probably best. No Shitoshi or the others either, though. Sounds like a plan. Now I just need to get to a safe point. Let's not run into the ghost. Mmm. That doesn't seem good. We planned on heading right back to the room. This is this is a bad idea. Giddy conversation and laughter could be heard wafting from the infirmary.
What? That's right. It's the same for me. I love my school. Who the hell is that? Suzumoto, get away. Let's run quickly. Oh man, that person got no head. And my homeroom teacher's the best. But I guess you feel the same way about yours too, huh? Suzumoto, hey, snap out of it. Suzumoto, it's us, okay? Shinozaki, Kishinuma. Can you stand? Come on, we're right here. No, I'm okay. Believe it or not, these really aren't bad kids. Huh? They've just been through some horrible experiences. Here, read this and you'll see what I mean. Four children's abducted, follow-up report. The brutal, shocking deaths of the recent kidnapped grade schoolers have been tracked back to the hands of the instructor found in this room within them. The scissors he held are confirmed to have been used to cut out the victim's tongues, ultimately leading to death through excessive bleeding or choking. One of the victims even had the majority of her head slowly and methodically removed. This cranial mass would fa uh, was found on the floor next to her body. The Heavenly Host Elementary students pictured here are the four who, who were found in the basement room. Of these children, one was. When investigators arrived at the scene of the crime, she was blood. The newspaper is torn at this point. The bottom half of the article is missing. These ghosts have the same faces and uniform as the children in those photographs. The ghost that was chasing us on the first floor earlier is one of them too. I can't just ignore these poor souls. Yes, you can. Get out of here. I'm going to stay with them. I don't think that's a good idea, Susumoto. You really need to get out of this room. Susumoto, you have to stop this. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. Okay. Well, that doesn't seem good. Hey, what's going on? Shinozaki. Damn it, what the hell did they do? Old fashioned heater. How the hell am I supposed to do this? Oh, shit. They're not gonna let her go, huh? Shit. I'll be back for you. I'm so cold. I feel like I'm freezing. We can't even touch her, much less get her down. So what the hell do we do? I don't know. But we have to do something. We have to. Whoa, your nose is bleeding. Don't tell me that. Jeez, you're so blunt about it too. Uh, would you prefer I didn't say anything and just let it drip? Hello? Huh? Who the hell are you? She's got eyes like a dead fish. You only just arrived at the school, have you not? That's right. Were you brought here against your will too? I can't say I recognize your uniform. Actually, I died here quite a while ago. Then why are you not a, not a ghost? I came here in search for someone very important to see me. You see? What? Um... Your name wouldn't happen to be Naho, would it? It is. Who's that? High school param uh, paranormalist, Naho uh, uh, Sinoki. What? I think she was on TV receiving some kind of award last year. She's an author, right? Yeah. She's also pretty well known for communicating with spirits and, as pop and has a popular homepage with lots of information on paranormal studies and occultism. I'm a big fan of yours, Miss uh, Miss Sanoki. I'm your web. I'm on your. Uh, I can't read. I'm on your website all the time. That's very flattering. Though I'm afraid you won't be seeing any more updates from me. Your last posting was about the Sachiko Ever After Charm. 
I've been wondering what happened to you since then. Oh, yeah, now I guess you found out. I never imagined it was anything like this, though. Hey, sorry to interrupt. But did you say you came here in search of someone? Yes. So you came here on your own volition, on purpose. There's a way to do that? That's not something I can talk about. I'm sorry. What? The greater concern right now is your friend. And that's right. Do you have any idea what we can do to save her? Before I died here, I searched high and low for any means of escape. In the process, I learned that the closed spaces were giving the form of Heavenly Host Elementary School through the narrow and ag through the sorrow and narrow. Why did I say narrow? Through the sorrow and agony of its victims. Victims are an in uh, victims of an incident that occurred 30 years before our time. Four children kidnapped with broken bodies later found in this very building. Those children are the ones giving shape to this nexus. The four kids pictured in a newspaper article? It sure seems like that. Unfortunately, this place took its toll on me, and I died before I was able to make my escape. But the key seemed to lie with the children. If they can be put to rest, there just might be a way out of here. Without all the sorrow and agony to sustain them, these closed spaces would start to break down. All of this pointless suffering would come to an end, and we'd be released from this hell. That's my theory, anyways. Yeah. But put them to rest? How the hell do we do that? Give them closure, of course. What they, la uh, what they lack is any remorse or regret from the ones who killed them. The one who killed them? Are you saying... The murderer is here in the school, yes. Seriously? How are we supposed to get someone like that to express remorse? Where would we even begin? You need to do whatever you can, and do it quickly. If you don't, those two spirits are gonna hurt your friend. We will. We'll think of something, I guess. First order of business is actually finding the killer. Hey, Shinozaki, what's up? I don't know much about you as an author or a paranormal researcher, but I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take you on your word anyways. Right now, I'm just grateful for any lead at all, so thanks. Are you okay? Hey, you alright? Is everything Daijobu? Thought you was gonna throw it, but you didn't. She's acting normally, but I don't know. I think she's starting to snap under the pressure, Shinozaki. She needs to get out of the school, or she could be in real trouble. Damn it, why is there no exit? Well, let's go find ourselves a murderer. <sighs> Hi there. You're a pain in my ass. I have to find a way to get past that dude. Uh, if I head back up, can I... save at the candle? Alright, what time is it? Let me see. Okay, so... I am coming up on time. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to end the stream here. Um, as always, for the next two nights, there won't be any stream, because I have stuff to do. And then, when, uh, uh, two days from now, we're gonna be streaming again. I'm thinking of going back to folklore. <clears throat> I'm, I'm losing my voice. I'm thinking of going back to folklore, right? Doing more of that, because it's been a while, and we need to finish that. Then, uh, we probably won't finish folklore in that stream, but... Uh, the next room after that will definitely be Pier uh, Parasite Eve, and we'll probably finish that. Then, um, then depending on how the schedule lines up, either I'll stream something new or something like that, or 
uh, will return back to Corpse Party, Arkham City, or, um, or what else? What else do I need to stream? I think that's it, right? Off the top of my head? Yeah, those two. Oh, Phoenix Wright. Or Phoenix Wright. Uh, but definitely, definitely next week, at some point, we will be continuing Phoenix Wright. Probably in it, probably finishing Phoenix Wright. And then, um... <clears throat> and then moving on to Phoenix Wright 2. Probably not in the same stream, but once Phoenix Wright is over, we're definitely going straight to Phoenix Wright 2. So, as always, I'd like to thank everyone who came to the stream and watch. It helps out a lot. And, uh, again, for the next two days won't be anything and then next week we'll start up again uh if you are interested uh, i have a youtube channel uh, where i put up the uh, streams and i also do playthroughs and i'm working on some other projects right now but that's going to take some time to finish so that's that for the people on youtube same goes for you i want to thank you all for watching it helps out a lot I have to finish my outro now because I really got to use the bathroom. So, as always, thank you all for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.